Welcome everybody to Campus Nation. We are at the Rough Riders of West Jefferson High School playing Greenview tonight. Cody, introduce yourself to everybody. Yeah, how's it going? Uh, Cody Snyder here. Uh, sitting about a little over 13 minutes left before we get, get some football action here. I'm used to Rick doing all the freaking talking now, and I've got to <laughs> fill in all this time. Um, well, no, I've got to ease myself into this. It's yeah. been a while. <laughs> but uh, And you're the football knowledge person, so you can do well, a lot of that stuff. But you should have a good game tonight. I mean, for instance, the Rough Riders uh, recently have uh, state appearance been in, in 2019 and 2021. Uh, and uh, so 2023, every two years, seems like uh, are they going board? They're 3-0 already this year. Um, but uh, Greenview's always had some good football. They're, uh, they were won the league last year. Uh, I'm not sure how much they lost. So hopefully, you know, they've got, got a lot of guys that were in that division last year that won that are still on the team. And maybe they can uh, keep that thing going. We yeah. should, hopefully we'll have a good game tonight. Yeah, it, it, we're going to see some high-powered offense out of, out of West Jeff tonight. And uh, like I told you earlier, Greenview is going to be really scrappy. They're going to they're gonna dig in and they're going to fight for four quarters. Uh, I tell you what, we've been watching the quarterback for um, the Rough Riders warming up passing. And I mean, his passes have been right on the oh, money. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, just taking a look at the stats here, uh, Austin Bisher, he, he's, he's at an 80% completion rating right now with uh, – Three games played and throwing 1,050 yards. I mean, that's that, that's letting her fly. That's letting it fly. And, you know, in high school, if you're not used to defending a lot of passes a lot, it, it, it can be a high-powered yeah, game. Yeah, it would be a long night for you. Um, I had the pleasure of seeing uh, Drew Novak play um, three years in a row. for He was an accomplished quarterback with Western Brown. He's now at, uh, at Ashland University. And, he, he broke Joe Burrow's passing record last year against Miami Trace. Oh, wow. Yeah. Um, that kid, you know, to this day, I don't think I've ever seen a quarterback put the ball where he wants it when he wants it. So, um, But it looks like, you know, Austin here, he's he's having a great campaign so far, only a sophomore, and uh, we're going to get to see see his arm tonight. So That's right. But uh, it's all going to come down to, I think, for Greenview, their defensive line. Can they get to the quarterback? Can they put pressure on the quarterback? Whether Absolutely. they get to him or not. But can they put enough pressure that doesn't allow him to set up and throw exactly where he wants every time? That's it, going to be a big Yeah, you got you got to get pressure on the quarterback. Um, and that, that also helps your secondary out. If you got to cover a guy for five, six seconds, that's that's a tough task. It is very tough. you, you got to get home. Um, so I'll, I'll look for, for Greenview's line to really dig in and, 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 and get some pressure on Austin. And, and if, they can make, if they can get home, you know, this may – you know, may come down to the wire. We'll see. Looks like the band's getting ready for the players to run on the field, getting all lined up, making a beeline. Getting the paper out. Beautiful night here in West Jefferson. Oh, a beautiful nice breeze. night. Flags flying in the breeze, and it's just a nice breeze coming in the window up here where we are. Nice uh, press box up here where we are. Absolutely. Two-story two press box. We're on the bottom floor, and – just makes it so nice. Nice field we're looking down on too. Uh, if you've never if you've never been here, it's just a nice campus here Absolutely. for a small for a small school like this. This is a beautiful campus. Yep. Baseball, softball, indoor complex. Beautiful, beautiful indoor, football yeah, field. Yeah, they they take pride in, in in their athletics here at West Jeff, and and that's evident with the way they take care of their facilities. Stands are filling up nice on this side and, you know, coming in on the other side a little bit. And away schools, you know, sometimes they follow, sometimes they don't. I don't know. I mean, Greenview usually has a good following. Yeah, Greenview has a great following. Um, I, I, I'm, I'll, I'll bet that's going to fill well, this up here is a, a That's bit. what I'm saying. I've, I've been to many games. You look over and go, oh, not many people. And then all of a sudden you look over middle of the first quarter and it's packed. So a lot of times it's just getting there and – Getting in the end of the field and getting seated. Absolutely, it's under ten minutes now. We're getting close. Getting close. Got the the kid cheerleaders out here tonight. We had senior night tonight. West Jeff honored their band members and their and their football players and um, just a great family environment here in uh, West Jeff. 
And if you like listening to sports, Campus Nation is doing volleyball this year. Uh, it's the first year we've been following like a lot of volleyball. I referee volleyball, so I'm no, not doing that. Uh, but they, uh, they are doing uh, Miami Trace volleyball and Greenview volleyball home games. And uh, so if you like volleyball on, fo- on Friday night, and that's during the week. On Friday nights, we've got high school volleyball or football for Greenview, and we have high school football for Miami Trace. And then we're doing college football on the uh, Saturday nights, and they're all over the place from Defiance up to um, near Cleveland. And I saw Mount Union on the schedule. Mount Union was on the schedule. Oberlin's on the schedule. Uh, schools I don't even remember their names. I tell you, <laughs> they're up around Cleveland where it's cold. I, I don't go up around Cleveland where it's cold. Well, you wait till you, you can go up there before November. That's after it. After November, <laughs> that's, mm, I don't know if I want to get up that way. But the big thing is, in, and uh, after September 24th, we start Ohio State club football all right and that's what i'm waiting for they're coming off a big season last year aren't they, they? yes and a nice season like the last three years two years running they rent they won the um their league the super bowl i mean if you want to call it or whatever national championship, national championship. Yep. that's what yep. last year they went to the national championship game and lost um, and uh, so this year they're looking vengeance to make a comeback they did lose two key players and that was their star quarterback and star uh he was a running back receiver and defensive player and he was all around and both of them graduated so uh if they've got guys to fill in those gaps and that's the only two major players they lost so they should have the majority of their players back and it's going to be very their first game is against uh wright state club football and uh i'm surprised wright Wright state hasn't made the jump to to try and incorporate a football school. Yeah, no, yeah. yeah, you know, they got baseball. Their baseball team is extremely successful. Um, but, you know, maybe in the future. You're right. And um, if maybe that's, you know, starting with the club and then they can build the club into absolutely. the football program. You they, know. Got a, they got a great area right smack dab in that, that Dayton area with a lot of schools. And and they'd have a, a great pool to pick from when it comes to recruiting. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And uh, But uh, Wright State uh, plays Deniston. Uh, they play uh, – Wittenberg, uh, Toledo, Wright State. They play. Um, there's a, a team in Michigan. They play or Michigan, as I like to say. <laughs> but it's not the Michigan school. This is no. This is uh, Oakland. I like to call meat chicken. I get that off of 97 <laughs> one the fan. <laughs> yeah, I like Those that. Those guys call meat chicken. I like I that. I like that one. But uh, tonight, though, we have West Jefferson High School playing Greenview. And uh, Greenview's the uh, coming in, and we are following Greenview. And uh, a long walk from the other parking lot. <laughs> yes, here they come out of the yeah. school, and they got about a hundred yard walk from there around the baseball around field, the baseball. up the sidewalk, and then around the ambulance, and and then they're here. I think they might did that on purpose. Huh? I do you think? <laughs> do you think? <laughs> I mean, you got these other buildings. I'm sure they could have. Yeah, there might be. They could have put. They could have put a little thing in there, but no. The game within the game. That's part of it. <laughs> yeah. But they do have a good program here. Not only a good football team, but a program, and that's to have a good football school team. You need a program. You need it to start down low, come up through the ranks. Absolutely. So that you don't just have a great team one year and then got to rebuild and get, you know. Yep, exactly. You it, just reload. Yep, Coach Bisher does a great job with his, his middle school and youth programs. and Keeping kids he, interested. Yeah, he, has a, he, he puts a huge premium on communication with those guys uh, from varsity all the way down. I yeah. mean, they're out in the, in the elementary, they're out in the middle school talking to kids at that age about playing on their football team. Yeah, absolutely. And keeping them interested. And then having camps for them to go to and then getting them interested in the game. And the coach is not just talking. He then goes to their practices and stuff and keeps it and shows them he's interested in them. Absolutely. And has their other coaches there. 
The, I, you know, I can recall when I was a kid coming up in, in the Miami Trace program, there was nothing like seeing those older guys show up to your practice or, or going to camp and, and, and interacting with the players and the coaches. It, it yeah. just fueled that fire to be able to be you uh, in to a be position right. to play on a Friday night for, for whatever coach was there at the time. And Clint um, Massey does that. So, and the yeah. schools that have a football program, that's what they do. It's not just wait until they're in high school and then say, hey, you, let's play football. Build them up. Absolutely. Get them used to it. Teach them the right way right from the beginning. Looks like Greenview's setting up with their two American flags. Love that. Getting ready to run through their banner. Yeah. Just don't bounce off of it like I've seen on yeah. Facebook sometimes. <laughs> you don't know. want to do that. Don't want to fall either get yeah. trampled. Oh, I saw that before too. West Jeff has a unique entrance. They're going to walk through a crowd of people and, and Here comes run through Greenview. their banner. Boom, their banner. they made it through. Leading with the two American flags. And a sledgehammer, and love that. And a sledgehammer. He must have had a big hit of the week there <laughs> last week. He must have. Greenview set to receive the football in the first half, and, or first quarter, I should say. Yeah. They're Good to see what kind of damage they can do right off the rip, you know. Playing in hostile territory, you got to got to start big. Got to get I some momentum so that way you can, you know, like feed, I, feed your defense when they come back out and, and, and get them amped up to, to stop this high passing attack from West Jeff. That's it. And like I told you earlier, when you're playing a high pack team like uh, West Jeff, it's going to come down and pass the ball and score. Mm -hmm. It's very important for Greenview to do something on this first drive. They give you the ball. Absolutely. If you just go three and out and give them back the ball, you know, and they pass, pass, and score, you're, you're, you're digging yourself well, It a also hole. says a lot about, you know, their, their – faith in their defense on the West Jeff side. You know, we'll give right. you the ball. You're in our house. Come, come, let's see what you got. Yeah. And uh, it's going to be a good one. Eat, it's going to be a good one. Eat that clock up. You know, that's one thing Greenview wants to do. Shorten that clock as much as possible. And all right. here they come. Well, first of all, we got the officials oh. coming out. Did he run over a cheerleader? Yeah, I think he did. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, no. That is not good. When you come out as an official and you run over a little cheerleader. Little little enter Sandman action here. Love that. Virginia Tech is famous for this entrance. I don't see anybody jumping tonight, but they're getting excited for the riders. I tell you what, I wouldn't want to jump on this. This is a wooden. Uh, stadium. Yeah. You start jumping too much on we'll this. Discourage the jumping tonight. Let's just do that, <laughs> please. I do not want to be in the headlines. Bleacher collapse, Bleacher that would not be good. No. That would not be good. And listen to some music as we're building yeah. up. Here they come. Slowly but surely. They're on their way coach? out. Yeah, they're walking out nice and sure. Oh, building it up. American flag, two West Jeff flags. These fans love their Rough Riders, that's for sure. There's a, there's a reason why this program is where it's at. Oh, yeah. Support from the community. The kids have bought in. Coach Bisher's doing a great job. Great job here. They're waiting. Oh, we got some, got some what is that, brown and, and yellow smoke coming out. Oh, yeah. I like it. Make it fun for the kids. Here they come. All right. Marching down, leading with the American flag, followed by the yellow flags, and going through the band. Can't see the band anymore with the no, yellow. No, they're smoke. gone. <laughs> they're gone. We'll say both programs have pretty strong numbers for the size of school they are. Yes. Um, and I, you know, I'm excited for this game. This, this could go either way. I was talking with a buddy. He's actually at the Cedarville Mechanicsburg game. That's two. Uh, and that's going to be a good game Yeah, that's tonight. two teams that are undefeated fighting uh, to try to improve their spot in the conference race. And and I told him, I said, this you know, this game might surprise some people. And I know the couple coaches on the Greenview side and, and the way that they um, they coach, you know, these guys are going to be amped up, ready to go, and they're going to fight. They're going to be – they're going to fight for four quarters, and, and they're not just going to lay down and let West Jeff walk all over them. Right. And, and you know, West Jeff, you got to watch. You know, West Jeff doesn't want to overlook – the yeah, you know, never, you, ne no, you never, you never want to overlook an no. opponent. And I tell you what, knowing Bisher, he's not going to let that. No, absolutely happen. not. These guys are hungry too. They're going to come out. They're going to, they're going to wait for the first sign of blood, and they're going to attack. You know, and sometimes when you're watching these schools play, 
You forget it's a small school, Ian, because they play big school football. Oh, absolutely. Uh, absolutely. Okay. I mean, West Jeff is in the playoffs so much. In it and uh, Well, with the new expanded playoff system, they got it, you know. A lot more teams do get in, but right. if, well, if you're if you're familiar with West Jeff, it, it's oh, not a fluke. they've been in for years. Yeah, that's not a fluke. I've got a thing here showing the years they've been in. Way before they expanded it, they've been in the uh, playoffs year after year after year, 2-6, 2-7, 2-8, 2-9, 2-10, and that's before they expanded it. Yep. Looks like number 39 is getting ready to kick off for West Jeff. Zach Oyster. Big boy. If he can put some leg into this one, let's see. It's oh, short punch kick. kick. Got to get on it. Grabbed it on the bounce. Okay. Literally got one yard, two yards after he grabbed it. They were good at following that ball. Ball is uh, followed by about the 30, what, seven-yard line, 36, 37 Yeah, we can't line. see where he's going to spot it. It's like on the 37. The 32, I think. I mean, thir there's 30, 35, 37. Oh, yeah, 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 there we go. So 37, you're right. Bad thing about grass fields, it's hard to see those hash marks sometimes. Yeah. All, right, All right, here we, we go. go. Alex Horny. Oh, Ooh, handoff to the right side. Got over, he got about five, four or five yeah, yards four on yards. that play. I'd it's say a good, four nice, good yards. physical run there for Greenview. Who was that running back? I didn't get it. Was that 42? Yep, number 42. Cooper Payton on that run. Trying to pick up numbers before, and I didn't get them before. We got um, Alex Horney as the quarterback, Cooper Payton in the backfield. We we'll got Greenview's trying to spread them out here. Yeah, one at the top, two at the bottom. Has going to be handoff again. Well, he gets to the first one, and he got back about the line of scrimmage. Ball's out, but I think it was already down. Yeah, I think he was already down. Yeah, I think he's even calling him down, but almost looked like Horney wanted to pull that ball. I Man, not yeah, got the he, read that he I, wanted. It was, I, I agree. It was almost like a late decision to leave it in there. Absolutely. And uh, so again, we've got uh, two going to we the got top. We got trips to the top. Single receiver down at the bottom. And we've got um, Horny in the backfield and Peyton. Peyton in the backfield. Oh boy! Quarterbacks on the run. Horny to the okay. right. Left side, and he's going to get a first down, uh, I believe. Gonna We're be going to be close, but I think the referees are about a half a yard over, and they're marking it. First I love down. the way he protected that football he in did. that situation. That's key. you got to get a first down, and if you lose the ball, it does you no good. I was watching the quarterback. I'm wondering if that was not a quarterback draw. I mean, he he broke it so quick. His mm -hmm. He didn't give well, West Jeff got a real great jump jump off the edge there, number eight. That is, uh, and it could have been Harper. the fact that they were coming in on him so fast he didn't have time. Yeah, he had to get going. All right, same thing. We got trips to the top, one in the back, nobody at the bottom. Handoff. He's going around the right side, and again he got about yeah. uh, four little, yards, three, three yards, three yards, three yards in a cloud yards. of dust. Football here. If they can get three to four yards a run, they're doing good, and then. After a while, throw a couple of passes in there. Absolutely. And the key thing they want to do right now, even if they don't score, control the ball. Control the ball, control the clock. Control that clock, keep it down. You know, the less chances that the Rough Riders have to score, the better chance Greenview has to stay in this game. All right, looks like we're getting a bunch of trips set up to the top. A fake handoff, oh. round oh. to the right side. Short pass, Found caught him. at the first down marker. Let's see where they mark it. Number two. I think they're going to give him the first down, but let's see. It's close. Boy, I mean, they may want a measurement. I'm not we'll sure. We'll see here. Well, no, they're going to spot him about a half yard short. Half yard short, okay. Big third down here. I mean, it's probably six inches short to me. So here's an opportunity. You can you can kind of impose your will here. You're moving the ball a little bit. You know, you've got a decent-sized quarterback, a pretty good-looking tailback. You know, let's – I To me, if I'm Greenview – I'm going to let's I'm going to run twice on this. Yeah, if it's let's, let's flex the muscles a little bit. Let's see what you got. Let's line up. I mean, you're on the you're on your own side of the fifty. Uh, I mean, or over the fifty, if you yeah. want to say it that way. Uh, you called it measurement. Yeah, I think the I think Greenview asked for it, and the referees are going to give it to him. If nothing else, you know they want to see how much they've got to go. That's what. It's 
Still short. Yeah, it's short, but I think it lets him know what play to call, how, yep. how short it is. Because a lot of times, you know, a lot of people think the coaches are thinking, oh, we got it first down. They're, they're wanting to see exactly. <laughs> and it gives them a little more time to come up with a play, talking over the yeah, side of what they're doing. This. So now they know where they wanna, what they want to do. And I think it's two down territory, in my opinion. If, if you're running. It looks team, like we're coming out in the jumbo set here. Yep. We only got, only got, got one receiver down low. Tied in on the end here towards us. And quarterback going to keep it going up the middle. He's oh, got he's the first half around the left side. He's on the open. He gets down to the 30-yard line. Nice run by Horny there. He uh, he caught the snap. He kind of hesitated there for a second. Yeah. Let things develop in front of him, and he hit the hole hard. Yeah, he did and he was a good job there. Let it, let it develop. See where it was. He didn't just run. He saw where the hole was and went. And I think if he had cut it outside a little more, he might have had the corner to go. Absolutely. But he, uh, there was a big opening. He got down to 30, got a first down, and he's doing what they want to do, controlling this clock and moving the ball. Got a little tempo going here. And pass. Pulls it. Horny kept the ball. Oh, he almost no, broke out to the right out. side. Yeah. They got to him. He almost broke away to the right side. And... Looks they like number 56, Luke looks West like with he, another big tackle there. Looks like they got a one-yard loss on that play, I think. Maybe two. Is that two yards? Yeah. Yeah, he lost about two there. I was watching the referee. He wasn't standing exactly where the marker was. But a good opening drive here for Greenview. Yeah. They're moving the football. They're kind of, you know, testing the waters out here, getting mm -hmm. a little bit of everything. We got Walker up top, Daughtery down low. Peyton, in the, Peyton in the backfield with Horny. And Peyton up the middle. He's got a left side. Almost broke it open and got back to the original yeah, line. Yeah, he's back to the original he, line. He had a quick opening, and he shot through, and they closed it quick. They're, they got a good defense. They I mean, it looked like he was going to get five, six yards at least. He swarmed to the ball. And 11 boom, the they got key. one guy slowed him down, and boom, they swarmed. Absolutely. A big emphasis for the defense. Third and ten now. For, for defenses, is, you know, you got to get 11 hats to the football. Swarm so I, that football. I still – they're probably four down territory. Oh, absolutely, 100%. They're too close to punt. Haven't seen a kicker yet. And they're back. Horny's looking to pass. Steps Throwing up. deep down Horny's the middle. Up. He's open. Oh, great defense. The great defense. I didn't see who came across and got that. But, it's like uh, Owen Warner, maybe number five. That might have been. Daughtery was wide open about the five to three yard line, and defense and uh, reached through. And uh, again, it might have been uh, Warner reached across, smacked the ball away right at the last second. If not, that was touchdown. Four down territory here. Well, they got maybe a good look at what up. they want to do there now. They want to. They got trips to the top, number three to the bottom, which is Daughtery. False oh, we start. got false start. We're going to go back five. And if you're passing right what? now, I don't know if that really makes a difference too West much. Jeff has an interesting defensive front here. Everybody's standing up. and Yeah. And they're, they're going to come after Horny. That, that's for sure. Oh, well, I mean, that's pressure. it. It's 10 yards. You know, you got to know that he's going to pass. They're just going to come. They're not even playing for the run. You got 15. You got to get to the 20 yard line. I mean, they got six guys on the, 35. on the front. All standing up in a two point. Baiting in the backfield. Two drop backs. Horny back, looking rush. deep. Throwing to the right side. He's, He's got, got a man. Cut. Got a man. Touchdown, Touchdown Greenview. Greenview. Wow. What a play call. What a play call. Joey Ginobile with a touchdown. Just a simple nine. Man. Fly route. That Great was. Ball. Yeah, he just. He just went straight down the right side. I don't know what happened if that he got him so open unless he thought there was somebody behind him for protection. There was nobody behind the, the defensive back, and he beat him. So Greenview did what they needed to do that first drive. They marched down the field, ate up time, only 6.51 left on the clock, yeah. and scored. And, you know, now if they can stop, the Riders on their first drive, it, this is big. We'll have a football game. Hey, football. <laughs> Gee. Kick up and good for uh, number two. And the extra point. Joey Ginobile? Ginobile. That was the uh, guy that caught the pass. Absolutely. So he's got seven points already tonight. 
Ran it in for six and uh, kicked for one. Great first drive by Greenview. Very and methodical with what they were doing. Um, I like the way they spread West Jeff out a little bit, and then they would bring him in tight in situations like, "Look, we're gonna, you know, we're gonna we're gonna dig deep here and, and get after you a little bit." So I don't know if we talked mentioned. Did we mention who the coaches were on both teams? Ryan Haynes is the coach for Greenview, and, then, uh, and I think we have mentioned that uh, Sean Bisher, Bisher yep. is the coach for uh, Rough Riders, and uh, both doing good job tonight. And uh, right now, Greenview is doing an excellent job. Absolutely. But here's the big test here. How long will West Jeff have the football? Yeah. That's, I mean, this could be a, this can be a quick score. Or depending on the line of Greenview, this could be interesting. It's like we got Cameron Pearson back and uh, Mason Book. Mason Book's the leading receiver for West Jeff right now. He is, uh, let me see here, 20 receptions on the year for 342 yards, averaging 17.1 yards and three TDs. Nice. Playmaker. All right. Is this Giannoble back to kick? It is. It is. And it's up. And it's going Pearson. to 15-yard line, 20, 25, and he's hit and gang tackle. They tackled. swarmed him. Here's the momentum I was talking about. These they're guys put, were able to punch it in. They're on the putting first him drive. right on the 25s where they're marking at. Now they're flying around a little bit. That was not a bad defense uh, for the green view on that kickoff. And here we go, Austin Bisher, sophomore QB, 6'4", 165. Wow. He's definitely one of the tallest guys out there. He's towering over his line He's right now. two inches taller than I am. Going with an empty set bunch. Bunch closest to oh, us. Oh man, here. we got trips down here. Wham, mm -hmm. we got two up north trips down here. We go single back. Is, uh, this back is empty. Yep. Or empty, thank you. That's the word I was looking for. Taking a shot. And the shot down the field. He caught it. My gosh, that was great defense. He caught that ball. Who's that? Number one? Number I two, number Mason two. Book. Mason Book. That's his go to that guy. He threw it right over the shoulder of number got 10. Got a penalty flag. Uh oh. Holding on West Jeff. Mm. Jamarius Vincent was, I mean, you, you couldn't have played almost better defense than he was playing him. Step by step, but that Paul was perfect. Yep. But it all came back for nothing. Bisher put it only where his guy could catch it. But, I mean, if your defense is that good and they're still putting it in there, this could be an yep. old, old. We got to get home. They got to get home. Got to. You got to put some pressure on that quarterback. You can't let that happen all the time. Empty set again. Trips to the top, two to the bottom, and here goes the snap. It hits the ground. Snap. Coming short. Broken a first tackle, gets some more, and he's back up to almost the original line of scrimmage, about two uh, yards there's short. There's a lot of guys in coverage for Greenview. It almost looked yeah. like uh, they were content with letting him sit in the pocket, and I yeah. don't know. That would make me uneasy. <laughs> yeah, I do not like that. I mean, we're going with a three-man front here looks like. Yeah, and they're going right back. They're yeah. just jumping. They've already got the play called. See what they do here. You're going oh, throw holding it right to there the right. in the middle. Didn't call it. Nope. Nope. First down. Mason Book. And he's got again. Mason Book's got it. Got it about to the 41, 42-yard line. Mason Book is. That, that I, I kid reckon. Looks good, I reckon man. the term here is book it. Mm -hmm. Smooth with the football. All right, able to they're back space. already with the next play. And oh, another low snap. I tell you, whack it. Uh oh, oh an opportunity. Oh, wow. It. Yeah, I think he got his foot down. Yep. Man, almost what a throw. He got rid of it quick. I thought it was uh, slipped out of his hand a little bit. But Armon Walker had an opportunity, but he just got did. over the 50 to the 46-yard line of Jamestown. Bisher just putting that ball where only his guy can catch it. Yes. I mean, that ball was literally going out of bounds, and he was able to jump up, receive it, get a foot down, and go out. We're already in the – oh, I thought we had – yeah, we do have someone in the backfield this time. Can you, Did you see the number? I did it not. Eight? It's like number 23. 23. 23. Um, 
Number 23, that's Braxton, Braxton Vance. Vance. Sophomore. Okay, looking back to pass. Vance is just blocking. Going down the sideline. Nice defense. Nice defense. And they're going to call a flag. We say nice defense. They say fly. I mean, there was a little contact there. I, but I agree. Con some contact, but I not, not with hands. It was body I, and. I say let him play early, right? Oh, yeah. Let him play. Tough break for Arm Armand Walker there. If you if you're calling that kind of pass early in this game, it's carte blanche for the pass for the passing team to yeah. me. You got you got to give the defense at least. Fifteen yard penalty moves the ball to the thirty one yard line. First down, West Jeff. All right, West Jeff. We got uh, Vance in the backfield. Trips to the top. Bisher in the uh, quarterback. We got Pearson at the bottom. And we got a rush on the quarterback. Quick pass up the middle. We got a Nobody pass. Nobody none other than Mr. Mason. Book. Down to the 21. You can't let the you can't let them throw for seven yards and run for three to five and That's expect to stop this team running. It, it's not going to. Tackle made by Gavin Henry. Second down. West Jeff going with a little bit of tempo here. Be sure alone in the backfield this time. Got a man uncovered up top here, number five. Trip to the well, top. Okay, there, safety scooted over. Two men moving. Okay, we got two in the backfield. One in motion. Going to pass. I mean, handoff, excuse me. Shuttle pass. Number two. Mason going around. Ball. Ball. Fumble. Ball's on the ground. Ball's on the ground. What Review happened? says they got it. What's going on here? Greenview gets, Greenview the, gets the ball. Greenview gets the ball. Massive Fumble. turnover. Late Massive ball. turnover. Yes. We saw we saw but I didn't see anything going I saw the ball come out late. I saw the referee go in but I didn't see a motion until right at the end and he pointed Greenview. Wow, that's huge. That is huge. Talking about you score and then you stop them. I mean, that How long can you can they keep this momentum though? That's that's the question. They, again, with if with this kind of offense going down, they've got to go back and score again. Absolutely. They've got to build up a to protect themselves. This is interesting. Okay. Oh, got to get my switch my sheets here. Okay, we got Horny in the backfield with Peyton. Peyton in motion. And that's not Peyton. Uh, oh, here we go. Get, get a nice, nice run around the left side. Got to about the 21, 22 yard line. And that was number nine, Chase Walker, not Peyton. Pass from Alex Rooney is complete to Chase Walker. Looks like Chase Back is in the backfield again with him. By Luke West. Boy, Luke West is all over the field tonight Boy. already. First quarter, Gino several Noble, tackles. Gino and Walker to the top. Back, you know, uh, he's got a man open here. He's going to run to the right. Went right, pulled it down. He's going to run himself. He's going to get nice. over for a first down. Wow. This kid runs with a lot, lot got of Got out too close to the 30, I think, when they marked oh, him down. Okay. Just got a score update from Cedarville and Mechanics. We, we got a holding. I didn't see a yellow, but I, oh, I see yeah, it now over is. here. That's all the referee, but I didn't see the flag, but I see the flag now. Got a, a score update from Cedarville and Mechanicsburg. Mechanicsburg takes the lead 7-0. Wow. Step All off right. the penalty. Second and long. Yeah, move the ball back to the 12-yard line. Got to get out to the... 20, Looks like 35, 37 yard line. So maybe almost, yeah, 37 at least. When he takes a snap. Or 27 maybe, 27 yard line, excuse me. Got to run it up, got tackled. I think that's Luke West again for West Jeff. Alex Horney, the ball carrier. Horney ran the ball up the middle. My goodness. Luke West all over that place. All right. The line, Ball's on the 18. Got to get about nine yards. Third and nine. Yeah, I said 37. It's 20, 27. We got to get to. All right. Chase Walker in the backfield with Horny. 
Trips to the top. Went to the bottom. He's back looking to the right, looking, looking, throwing. In yeah. the middle, wide receiver, I mean, wide open. He bobbled it, but he caught it. He came down with that. He came Ooh. No. Ooh. They say inter intercomplete. He had that laying on his belly. It, he bobbled it, yes, but it laid on his belly. He must have slipped down. Wow. It's a great pass. Gotta I mean, got to come down from with that. my angle. I'm not going to say 100%, but from my angle, he bobbled it. And unless when he bobbled it, hit the ground, bounced back have. up. He was kind of swarm there right when he hit the ground, so they may have jarred it loose a little bit more. These guys are a lot closer than we are. Though. Okay, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm not. Yeah, I'm not. That's what I say from my angle, from what I can see, and I'm not saying right, it's perfect up here. Yeah, let's see what we can do here for Greenview. If we flip the field here. Go back for punting. Low Points liner away. gets it to the 49, and he's getting hit about the 44-yard line, 43-44. Now that would, unfortunately, they had a first down. They were on the way to move the ball. Then the penalty brought them back, and they never recovered from that. And West, I mean, the best Jeff got the ball back on their side of the field. This was a bump in the road for them. Yeah. You know, if they could have marched down the field, and if they had to punt, get it back to the 15, make them come back down the field again. I mean, this is, they're already down here. All right. We got trips top. We got one in the backfield. Looks like, looks like Vance. Hand off, Hand off to Vance. Vance. Coming around the right side, and he's got a good yardage, at least seven, if not eight yards on that run. So this is where Wes Jeff can kind of make, can make, uh, Greenview think about what they're doing right now. You got a three-man front. It kind of opens it up to the run a little bit. And that was that was uh, that was Kite, not Vance. Kite. Oh, Wyatt Kite. Yep. Wyatt Kite. And okay, now we're going back. Now he's coming out as a wide receiver this time. We got two to the bottom and uh, trips to the top. Alone backfield. False start. Didn't call. Didn't it. call it. And quarterback going to run, and he goes down on his own. At right, the right tackle definitely jumped. Yes. Definitely jumped. Almost looked like what the Kansas City Chiefs uh, right tackle was <laughs> Yes, doing last, last night. night. Did you see that? Everybody yeah. was talking about that. Yeah. I saw it. I was watching a replay, and I went, dang, that guy jumped. He's and moving. no call. All right. Man in motion, kite in motion, hand off to Kite, go around the left side, and nice. he's got, he's going to get back to the line of scrimmage, maybe gained a yard. Maybe. Alex Horney on the tackle there. That Did was a little a, double duty. Yes. Playing quarterback, coming out there and getting dirty with the defense. I like it. That's good. As long as he doesn't get that arm hurt or something. Yeah. Gain of a yard will be second down nine. All right. All right, we got trips to the bottom, one of the top. We got Kite in the backfield. Bisher, Bisher coming to out. the right, looking, looking, throwing short and caught. Quick, nice tackle. Alex Horney again. Horney with a great tackle there. And that was on, um, was that Owen Warner? Number five, Owen Warner. And uh, he got him quick, so now we're going to have third and five. five, third and six, third and five. Third and five. They may take this to the quarter here. Uh, and yeah, we got 33 seconds. They can. Well, no, they got to snap it. They do, they got 20 seconds on the play okay. clock. They got to run it. Got to run one play. Oh, showing coming. Oh, coming up the middle. Throws short, wide open up the middle. Getting tackled. I thought the ball might pop out on that. He got his hands on it. That was um, Mason Book again. Mason Book. Got the ball down to the six-yard line. I mean, that, he was wide open up the middle. Nobody around him at all. All right, kite in the backfield. Clock running. Seven seconds. Three to the top. Five. Hand off to kite going up the middle, and boom, Big he was stop. hit quick. He got as his nose got to the five-yard line. He was hit. Looks like Coach Bisher is not happy about that. Well, the first quarter plays over, and we have Greenview 7 and the host, West Jefferson 
zero. Well, West Jefferson won first quarter. I mean, um, no, Greenview. I mean Greenview. That's what I meant to say. Yeah. Greenview won the first quarter. On flip sides here. And the whole team's walking down this <laughs> end. Catching their breath, getting a little drink of water. It'll be interesting to see what Greenview does on defense here. It'll be second goal from the five or six, I think. They think they put him back on the six. West Jeff's kind of introduced the run a little bit, so that kind of changes things for, yeah. for Greenview. they gotta, they got to account for that, especially yeah, down here. I mean, yeah, they, they're a great passing team, but they run enough to make you honest. Yeah, absolutely. And they're good enough to keep you honest. Mm -hmm. Got two good backs out of, out of Kite and Vance. Those guys run hard. Uh, I would say Kite's probably more shifty. Uh, Kite's north and south. Or um, they're not. They're trying not to let the deep pass. But the trouble is when you let that intermediate pass go, they're just you're just letting first down, first down, first down. You know. Absolutely. All right, here we go. Start of the second quarter. And they're trying to get. They're trying to blitz in and get something going, but they're just being picked up real well. Last time a guy got through, but as he got through, this left the middle of the field wide open for easy pass. So here we go. Starting the second quarter. Man in motion. That's Mason Book. Looking to the right. Throws wide open. Nobody there. That, that's not Kite. That's, that's Braxton Vance. Vance. That's Braxton Vance coming out of the backfield. A good play call there. That yeah, was. I mean, he. It, it looked like Greenview was a man right there, but the only problem is you got to make sure you account for that back yeah. in the back. There. And he, he, the quarterback went, and his eyes stayed middle of the field. Yep. And then all of a sudden, that gave Vance a chance to run out, and as he curled, then he turned and wide open. Everybody there? Yep. All right, here we go for the extra point. High snap. Ooh, almost got a block. Wow. And it's good. They it's tie it up. And it, All right. Is that, is that 20, 30? What's that number coming off the right there? 30, 38? 39. 39. That would be none other than Zach Oyster. Zach Kick, Oyster. Yep, it says K, kicker. Yep. Zach Oyster. Zach Oyster. Got Typically a pearl when, in you that just, when you just see that K right there, they're probably a soccer player kicking yeah. for the football team. <laughs> you got that. <laughs> I don't see any other thing with that. It's a good resource to have. Well, I've always said, if you if you got a football team and you want a good kicking team, go to your soccer team Absolutely. and find a good kicker and talk him into coming out for football. For be interesting to see what West Jeff does here. When they started a the game, they did a little pooch kick. Yes. Let's see yeah. if they go back to that or if, if they, they try to pin them deep here. Well, I'm not sure the pooch kick really worked for them last time. They let you know they got the ball midfield and well Greenview's giving them a lot of space to do it. I don't know if they you know if the two uh, back deep back running think they can if they maybe can do some damage or there is a twenty yard gap there right right after the first line. Yeah, there is a big gap in there. It's number seven right here. Try a little trickery. See if he comes around. And oh, an onside kick! It didn't go. They got it. They, they got it back. Did it hit it. them before it got there? Is my thing. I thought it hit a player over here before it went. And, but. Because the ball only looked like it went about seven yards, and all of a sudden went. And I thought yeah. it hit a player and went. But no flag, so oh. evidently it didn't. Here's the momentum shift. Greenview's yeah. really got to dig deep here. Oh, you can't let him march no. right back down the score and no, tie we, this game they, up. They can get a stop. They've done it. Yes. And they were good. And early later, they were good. they're good about when they get on, get on for that ball on the tackle. All right, here we go. We got one in the backfield, one in motion. Low snap again. Run to the right side, and that is Vance, and he got about five yards. Nice little run there. 
these yellow numbers are hard to pick up at first. <laughs> yeah. But I can real quick tell it's not a 24, so then I know it's 23. <laughs> Greenview got good penetration in there. They had him stop behind the line of scrimmage. Oh, yeah. They missed the tackle. We got trips to the top, two to the bottom, empty backfield. Bishop back there all by himself. A low snap again. Pass to the left side. Great defense, and we're going to get a, pa a penalty again. What? I, I did not see a penalty there. He's diving for the ball. He's got his right to the ball, too. He He's a, just he diving. a little handsy before the ball got there, but I, I don't. I didn't see I penalty. don't like that call coming from. You got a guy right here running up the sideline. He's got to make that call. The players ask him what I do, and yeah. he's even being told. Had a little bit of face guarding there, and, and you know when you're when you're playing man coverage, that's hard. Yeah, it's not easy. No, especially when you're going up a guy. He was just with him step by step, yeah. and the ball went over his head, and I'd be throwing all day long if I'm go if I'm going to get those calls all day long. Yep. All right, we got uh, looks like uh, Vance in the backfield. I'm think uh, and uh, got book in the slot. He has the bubble and they hand it off to, to the Vance. Middle, off the right tackle and he's getting get about five yards at least, I think. Eli Walker and tackle on that one for Greenview. And he got about six yards on that run. Second and four. Got motion, book in motion. Back, here screen. comes the rush. Screen. He's throwing, it's a screen. screen. I could tell that. Nice play by number 22 when they, when they let him, When they let the guys through that easy, you know a screen's coming up. Yep, 22 Thomas Pierce coming from the linebacker position was able to make that play, it was just him. So it's going to be third and what, two? Short. Yeah, long two. Question is, will they go for a field goal or do they go for it if they oh, don't get it? Uh, their kicker was kicking about a 32-yarder in a warm-up, so it, it may give it him a, a chance, but I have a feeling. It's uh, going to be a 40. No, it's not a 32. I'm sorry. I'm, at 20, looks like a three <laughs> sometimes. And tackled, and he's short. He's short. It's fourth down. Decision time for Coach uh, Bisher here. Okay, number eight coming into the game for uh, West Jeff. That is Jesse Harper. This is a six he's, foot 180. He's a running back. He may try to run it here. Yep. Bisher is back out there. So it's here, here's a big chance for Greenview. Can they get the stop? Yes. Mason Book on the top. Is it going to be a run or is Keep it going to be? Is it going to be a pass? I'd look for pass. I don't care. Pass. Yeah, see what I'm and saying? They got one on one with him. And he threw to the guy coming in who was a running back. Oh, fumble! Did they get it back? Looks like they got it back. Okay. The ball was on the floor or on the field, and but he got it back. Man, they almost had their second of the night. That would have been. It's a nice play by West Jeff. They were able to bring in Jesse Harper, motioned him across, and had him run a drag around the other side. You know, there's a lot of attention on Mason Book, so sometimes these guys are able to get free. Yeah. It's kind of almost like a Jamar Chase situation. Yes. You know, they make sure they take care of him, and then T. Higgins and those guys can, can and run free. Mason motion. Looking quarterback uh, sneak, or quarterback draw, excuse me. I don't know if he just, just short. As quickly as he went back and went forward, I think it was a draw. Looked like he went back, just set back for one second, and then went forwards. The quarter, I think it was a quarterback draw all the way, but again, we got Harper coming back in. So we got look uh, out for that back out again. We here. got back. Uh, we got back. We got Vance back in the game. Bisher and Vance in the backfield. But he's not happy. No, the play clock was running down. They almost got a delay a game penalty yep. there. Good call on the timeout.
Well, so far, it's still a close game, still an interesting game. Greenview's got to make sure it stays close and interesting. Yep, they gotta, they got to keep fighting. That's one thing about high school football. you got to play four quarters. You have to. Can't play one. Can't mm -hmm. hang your hat on the first quarter. No. Nope. Three more to go. Yeah, you can't say, hey, we won the first quarter. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> and, I, you know, I know Coach Nose and Coach Enix there at Greenview, defensive guys, they're, they're going to have these guys. Uh, I'm assuming, you know, if they get – they give up one here. We'll see what Greenview can do. But when halftime comes, there will be some adjustments made. And uh, Yeah. And it's going to be close at halftime. Yeah. We'll see what so happens. So, it's, they're still in it. It's a little under eight minutes to go. I'd like to see uh, Greenview come back down and score before halftime. All right. We're set up. Where's the ball? The two-yard line or one-yard line? It looks like on the one. One, one-yard yeah. line. All right. Here we go. Oh, oh fumble, fumble in the snap. backfield. Quarterback falls on they it. Just lost. Again, another low snap. Yep. And that, you know, in a year's time, you're playing – that. that's big. You know, they've got to work it, that it, out. It is big. And, and it's not that it's happened once. It's happened almost on every snap. I'm sure Austin will uh, will talk with his center, and they'll get that figured out. I wouldn't be surprised to see those guys over here taking snaps after this drive. It is a grass field, though. You don't see that often now. You see a lot of turf. Yeah. You know, as it gets darker, that grass is going to get a little wet. Yep. See what happens. A little better. It's got knee high. Got one. Oh. He's going to run it in. Yeah. He's going to run it in. Did he make it? He did. Yep. I mean, I know it was right. He came down right close to that line, just depending if his knee hit first or not. But they set in for a touchdown. He had Mason Book by himself in the corner of the Enzo over here. The DB uh, from Greenview fell down out of his break. So he had two options there. He could have yeah, taken and it yeah, in. Because he, he had all it. the way to the one-yard line yeah. before he had to make that decision. And here we go back for another uh, kick. Extra point. It's up. It's in the middle. It's good. All right, Greenview's got to regroup here. First of all, they got to secure the special teams. they got to – you got to account for that onside kick now. But – a big drive coming up for Alex Horner in the Greenview Rams offense. We got, we got to, they got to find some rhythm. They got to make some big plays here and see if they can go, come and answer that score. Scoring drive for West Jefferson, eight plays covered 48 yards. Eight, eight play, 48 yard drive after the onside kick. Bishop, with the I tell you what, that extra point kick's big because if they kicked off, and let's just say West um, Greenview went down and was scoring on this drive, mm -hmm. now we got a 14-7 the other way. Just yeah. before. So it'd be interesting. So now uh, Greenview's coming back. Let's see what happens here. See if they try it again. Seven twelve I mean, left they, here they in the second quarter. They kicked the short muff kick and they kicked an onside kick. I, I would pull these guys up. <laughs> there didn't change anything. You don't pull all four of them up, but I'd put a couple of them right in the, you know. See what happens here. Again, ball's on the 40. Greenview's on the 50. Oh, now there, somebody, yeah, yeah, there yeah they I go. thought, yeah, I was watching They're them. moving them up now. Coming this way. Pooch kick. And Catch good, fall good job. It. Absolutely. And it, now, I don't know if he did or not, but it usually, if it's in the air right there, call a fair catch. You can fair catch that, yes. All right, here we go. We'll say, though, Alex Horner just spent a long time on defense. Putting the ball right on the nose of the ball, touching the 45 of Greenview. Here we go. So, Greenview's got 55 yards to go for a touchdown. We got one in the backfield, trips to the top. Who's in the backfield? 42. 42, Peyton. Peyton back there. Handoff going up the left he's side, over room. tackle. He's got a good room. Great he's, run. He's about a foot, two feet shy of a first down, I think. Looks like you can't ar arm tackle Peyton. He's, he's a hard runner. He is. Big boy. He's going he's gonna to get his yardage. He's going to make you pay for it. Absolutely. Okay, we got Horning Payton in the backfield. We got Tripp down here to the bottom. Trips themselves to the top. 
Love his name. King Trip is his name. It's <laughs> a great name. Running. He's got some time. He's got some time. He's right. got a man open man right here. In the middle. He's got him. Number he four. bounced off the tackle. He got another four yards. There we go. This is what Greenview needed. Yes. They had to respond. We're down to they the 26-yard line and coming right back down the field. And that's what Greenview needs to do. Okay, you scored on us. We're going to come right back and score on you. Oh, I thought a yellow flag was being thrown. <laughs> Tau. It's over six minutes to go here in the first half. Yeah, we got plenty of time to score here. Absolutely. Still on the flip side of that. And that still gives West yeah, Jeff yeah, plenty of time that, to go down and that score. That didn't remind mind as I said that. Got plenty of time to score, but not, not too much time. You don't right. want to give them too much. All right. Yeah. And nice keep. Nice keep, keep going up He's the middle. Room. Horny up the middle. He's going around the right side. He's got an opening. Touchdown, and touchdown Green, Bay. Green Bay. A Green Bay. <laughs> Green View. What am I doing? I'm talking. I don't think he I like said Green Bay. Green Bay, where did that come from? I have I, no idea. Folks, it's just because the uh, the football NFL football season oh, starts. It started. It's it just has it, started. It's I don't even, I'm not mode. even a Green Bay fan, so I don't even know where it came from. What I think it's looking at all this gold out here, yeah. you know. <laughs> what? Green View. What a great Red, white, and blue. response from Green View. That was had their great. backs against the wall a little bit. They had some bad luck with an onside kick. West Jeff was able to take it Why down the score. Crowd and you know down. what? They, they we got came a ball right game. Back. We got a ball we, game we here, ball West game, Jeff. People. And I thought this might be the ch this might be what was going to happen here. And I take it what you take back the fluke things, the onside kick. Greenview's yep. really play, playing good ball. I mean, they they could be ahead of this game easily. Absolutely. Well, this is five fifty to go here in the first half. But that man, Austin Bisher, gets the ball back in Mason Book. And they've had two other fumbles they've got back. Yeah. Maybe Greenview has a trick up their sleeve here. That would, you know. Yeah. We'll see what happens. I mean, the downside of that is scoring, but you scored awful quick. Yeah, you did. And uh, now that gives them plenty of time to come back down. Now, again, if your defense can hold them, get another fumble, get an interception. Greenview has Just had get a three two opportunities out. for turnovers. They got the one down here on on the end zone to our right. Right. Um, there was a fumble over fumble here. Fumble over here, and then we the, thought maybe a ball squeaked out. It did. It did. Mason Books dropped the ball, and, or I'm sorry, Jesse Harper uh, dropped the ball out of bounds. Right. So there's and, been some opportunities to get the ball back. And then the quarterback fumbled it in the backfield and just fell on it. Yeah. But if he'd have went to pick it up and kicked it or something. It, I will say, though, Greenview is playing a pretty clean game right now on offense, and that's huge. Not a lot of penalties either. No. So when you're playing a team like this, you, you, know, you, you know, you had a couple pass interference here, but when he throws the ball 70 times a game, that's probably going to happen once or twice. Yes. All right. Do we see who the kicker is for uh, Greenview here? Is it? Yep. It's two. Um, Joey Gianoble. Joey Gianoble. Little boy, the big foot. And it's long and hits him, bounces uh -oh. through. Will that it go to the end zone? In. It's a live ball. It's a live, it's a live ball. ball. He did not go in the end zone. This is huge. They got to make a tackle here. Uh -oh. Come on, it's tackling. Oh, no. oh, no. He's still bouncing around. He got back close to the 20 yard line. Oh. I mean, that ball, was, that ball was on the one yard line. It was. I and thought if, maybe he stepped in the end zone. Oh. Well, his foot did step in the end zone, but the ball was still yeah, on the one. It never, the ball never crossed the line. Well, Mason Book once again bails West Jeff out of some trouble there. I mean, it could have been. I mean, that's, they got the ball back deep. That's what they yeah. wanted, but it could have been deeper. They got 80 yards to go here. He got through some good tackles there. All right, so who we got in the backfield here? We got Bisher we got alone. An empty set. We got two down and trips north. Nobody over top of number 24 right here. This no. could be a uh, quick yeah, hitter. Right He's going out. Gonna, yeah, he's wide open. Here he's looking at him. Yep, he's looking at is. him. Oh, oh he drops a ball. Oh, man. That had to be some miscommunication with Greenview. You had to leave him wide open. Oh, because like he was wide open. Had to. White Kite was over here wide open, and he ran down and then out. Nobody followed him. And, and he had only two men to beat here if he catches that oh, football. Oh, he caught that, yeah. And he's quick and speedy, so, man. Now, is there anybody on him this time? Or, I mean, well, not the same guy, but. Yeah, we got trips down here, two up top. Looks like they're playing him a little closer here. A little better, yeah. It's like Greenview showing man. They are showing that. 
We got a coming in blitz. Uh, can you get home though? Oh, he got rid of it. I mean, he was getting hit from behind as he threw that ball. Pressure. It's starting to take take shape here for Greenview. Yes. That is huge. If they can just get home a couple They're times. They're starting to get through to the quarterback a little more than they did earlier. So he's got he had to get rid of that ball quick yeah. that time. We got third and ten. Now you got you got a situation here. You got him at third and ten. Can you get off the field? That's yes. the key right here. Can don't, you get don't, off the don't field? Don't give him that first down pass here. That ten yard pass. One we got do have one in the backfield. We're Bring showing some blitz. pressure here. Oh, There's we got a hold. hold right there. But can he get there? He overthrows. He had a wide open receiver over here. There was a hold on that, that play in the backfield, but I didn't see it called. Jersey being pulled way back. Yeah. yeah. But well, here we go. Four. Hey, they got we some got time. A, we got a three and out after a score. A three and out. So we're getting the ball back with 5:32 left to go in the uh, first half. Still. Let's see if West Jeff is as tricky with their punts as they are their their kickoff team here. Would not be surprised. He got some personnel issues. All right, here we got one back. View. Who's back back here? Can you know who that is? And Eleven looks like Walker, number four. Armand Walker. Okay, Armand Walker. High snap. High short. Get away! Get away! Short, get away! Short! Short! Get away! Hits. Just let it roll. And hit it on the forty-five <laughs> of one side goes to the thirty-nine of the other side. But that's better than trying to play that ball and them getting the ball back. All right, here we go. Yeah, if they'd have had a punch man up here for block, he could have went up and caught that pass, you know, even a fair catch. That would have given him good feel. If he could have had a short man for block, he could have ran up a fair caught. Absolutely. Cut. Absolutely. Okay, so 521 left. What are we discussing here? Something happening? Well, we had a we have we gotta do have a penalty, and it's in the backfield of West Jeff. Could be a With all this yellow on the field. It's hard to. Oh, it is because <laughs> of the color of the team. You don't. <laughs> it's it, hard to it see. It blends in out there really well. It's okay, like he's coach. over explaining to yeah, Greenview this is coach. Not good. This may be a first down for West Jeff. Now they're slowly coming over here to explain to West Jeff. We got a hold. It looks like against. They're showing a hold, and it looks like he was pointing Greenview's way. Hold, Greenview. Well, the way they talked about that, it looked like it was something a little bit more serious than a hold. I thought I might have missed the running into the kicker, yeah. or yeah. So it's Greenview still gets the ball. They're just going to lose some yardage probably on okay. this. Well, you got a little over five minutes at 5:21. I'm like you. As long as Greenview didn't lose the Is ball. That, yeah, yeah. Well, as, as far deep as they were in the backfield, I thought it had to be a hold on the other team. You know, that's why yeah. I wasn't thinking about Greenview back there. Then I thought, okay, did they run into the kicker or something? Yeah. Once that ball left his foot, my eyes went immediately this way, so I would have missed that. All right, Greenview has the ball. Horny in the backfield. We got Trip Gia Noble. With Peyton, I think it's Peyton back there, isn't it? And Peyton in the backfield. And a handoff to Peyton up the middle. No, a fake coming around the right side. Short pass, 83 goes out of bounds. A little short of the 35. May have got a roughly and that was two or three. Campbell Newman, Campbell Newman with the catch, tight end. Blake with the tackle. All right. And that is Chase Walker in the backfield. Chase Walker. Trips to the top. Chase Walker, arm on. Uh, Walker at the bottom. Looking deep. He's looking deep. Move. Running for his life. He better get rid of it, and he didn't. Oh, got it. He lost about five yards on that play. I don't think at first when he went that way, he knew somebody was behind him. Yeah. And by the time he realized it, he didn't have time to get rid of it. When you're running to your left and your right-handed thrower, it's hard to do. Is that somebody happy or somebody unhappy? I don't know about that. <laughs> I would assume both sets of coaches are in this box somewhere. 
I'm going to guess that Wes Jeff's up top. It must have been an excitement. All right, well, now you're in a hole here, third and 15. Third and 15 on your own side of the field with looking. four minutes to go in half. Horny back, finds a man. Man wide open, he, he got it. it, first down. First down. Check for flags. No flags. <laughs> All right, we got the ball real close to the 45-yard line. They think they're marking it on the 45-yard line. Noble. So we're almost midfield, five yards short of the 50-yard line. Tell you what, Alex Horney throws a pretty good ball, too. He does, he does. Wow. My son plays, my grandson plays in South Carolina, and they're, they just got a new turf field on their field down in uh, Somerville, South Carolina. Ashley Ridge. And mm -hmm. running back Chase off Walker. the side, and he gains a foot. Wow, that's pretty. Luke West again on the tackle. I'll tell you what, Luke West might be my player of the game if they pull this out. Boy, that man you, has been all over the field. He has been all over the field. All right, we got down to three minutes. Second down, nine. Up the middle, Walker. and he's hit and goes forward for about a couple more yards. I wonder why we haven't seen that Peyton. That is Chase Walker. What's that? I wonder why we haven't seen Peyton. I don't know. He hasn't been back there for a while. No. And when I said Peyton a minute ago, it wasn't him. It was Walker. But when they're standing sideways, I can't tell. Yeah. Uh, Walker does run the ball hard, too. So we got a third and six here. See if they can pull off some. Third and six. You know, you don't want to give it. You don't want to go fourth down this you, you got to get the ball down further yeah, down. We got field. a tight end closest to us. Trips this way. Back the quarterback coming around the right side, looking, <laughs> looking, throwing. He's he open. Got he got the ball. It. Oh he yes, they're it. saying he caught it. Absolutely, what a catch by that great catch got it to the about Joey the thirty-seven yard line. That's two big first downs by Joey Gianobo. Joey Neiman, Joey Gianobo rolls right he, off the tongue. Oh, right? Little, 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 <laughs> right off my tongue. Very well. I mean, he's doing it all too. Kicking and run, and pass, kick, receiving. Horny showed great presence there on the roll. Was patient. He did. He was getting. He was getting closed in from behind quickly. So we got the first down when the clock's running. That's another key thing. Keep the clock running. Yeah. And keep 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 driving the football. But understand that I think Greenview's trying to score here. And a handoff. Oh, it close it. Walker, Chase Walker. Gotta forget we got Armand Walker and, and Chase Walker. Got, yeah, there's there's Eli Walker as well. Is there another Walker? Is there another one in here? <laughs> Let's take a look. Luke West again. Luke West, another tackle. And if you haven't found out yet, his family is right here in front of us. They are supporting that young man. They got a, a fat head sign right here with his face on it. Oh, every right time he there, make yes. it, when they make a tackle, they throw it up. All right, he must be pretty popular around here. Chase Walker in the backfield. There we go. Blocking. Throwing. Oh, He's oh. open. Wow. Got it. Nice pass. Cut. Number three. That is it. Jacob. Is it Dodie? Daughtery. Daughtery. Jacob Daughtery. And he got that ball uh, about the 11 yard line. Jacob Daughtery. Junior. Number Alex three. Horney's pocket. That was a beautiful right lead now. pass. He is showing leadership. He is. Okay, Chase Walker in the backfield with Horny. Takes the handoff, goes up the room. middle. He's going to get a couple yards. He's going to use a timeout here. Green Broke does. inside the 10. We're going to get a timeout quickly. We have 39.8 seconds on the clock. Well, we got a quick break here. Just got another score update from Cedarville Mechanicsburg. Mechanicsburg up 14-7. with 39.8 seconds left. Greenview needs to score. Don't want to waste this scoring opportunity here. Need seven. We'll take three. Ball's on the eight. Second down. And they can get a first down on the one-yard line. They can. They can. I, and I'll say this. I don't know if first down's really coming to right no, now. They're going to want to punch The clock's in. more against yeah. them than the, than the yardage. They have, I can't tell, is it two? Yeah, two timeouts left. 
they got some room to wiggle here with 39.8 yeah. seconds left. They, I can see theirs. I can't see Yeah, I can't Jeffs. see West Jeffs. They, I think they that are That pulls right in that spot. And even if I lean forward, I can't see it. <laughs> and I'm not going to lean too far forward. Well, hopefully, uh, you know. The West family may Green, not like that. Yeah, Greenview may dig into their bag of tricks here. Not too deep, but they definitely, they will want to, to get this score here. Yes. And take all that momentum in the locker room. Right. But West Jeff has the ball coming out in the second that's half. The, and that's another reason they need they to score, score now. Yes. West Jeff's crowd getting up here for a big play. It's Knapp in the backfield. Hand off. No. Fake. Throws. Caught. Did they lose yards nah, on that? Was he, it a caught pass? No, he dropped it. He dro I go say, to me, it'd be wiser to drop it than catch it. it stops the clock and uh, don't lose the yards. I'll tell you this. They were coming. Whatever route they go here, if they kick a field goal, I don't know if I like having 30-plus seconds on the, on the clock with, <laughs> with Austin Bisher with coming yeah, out. With Austin Bisher <laughs> and with his receivers. Is she a Greenview fan over She might side? be. She's over in enemy territory right now. <laughs> I see red, white, and blue in front of me in, uh, in the enemy territory. Horny. Oh, he decides He's running. To He's forward. open. He's got it. Touchdown. Touchdown, touchdown Greenview. Yes, wow. touchdown. No flag, and the arms are up. <laughs> wow. Greenview came to play, and I don't think there was very many people that were counting them it to be no, in this game. No, no. I'll tell you that. With 30.4 seconds left. I wonder if she's got, I wonder if she's well, from Greenview. They got red, white, and blue going on down here too. So. Oh, well, I was wondering if she had a boyfriend, you know, and she's from this school because <laughs> she's holding up a number for a player from this school. So. All right, Joey Gia Noble here. Point after. It's, it's up, up. It's and good. it's good. I tell you, between – Horny and Joey Ginobile, that's my players for Greenview right now. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Alex Horny, yeah. commander and, and of probably it. leaning toward Horny at yeah, this time. Commander of his offense. He, he, he came up with two big third down plays to, to keep this drive alive. And Ginobile with two big third down catches. Oh, yeah. And then the, the, to and put the icing on the cake, Horny grabs it, takes it in for Greenview's touchdown, and they I mean, lead 21 And that was not an easy touchdown. I no, mean, it was not. He fought for he, it. He got – the opening was there to go yardage, but not to go into the end zone, and he fought for that touchdown. Greenview playing with a lot of heart. They and, are. And those, those kids are so scrappy. So we got 21-14, Greenview's leading, going uh, with 30.4 seconds, and just like my partner to my left um, – that doesn't mean it's going to be 21-14. <laughs> It'll be 21 all real quick. We're going to find out. Well, you know the long pass is coming. It absolutely is. We've already is. had a couple pass interference calls. Now, unfor not unlike college or, pro or like pros, the, the ball doesn't go down there. It's only like, a, what, a 15-yard penalty. Yeah. But it still moves the ball. It does and, move the ball. And it does – you know it's called against you a couple times. You may not – want to get that penalty and you may let the pass go through you know subconsciously it's going to be interesting here we go all right joey ginobo back for the kick drills it. low drill going back toward the goal line it's slowing down yeah, but it went in, in this time man if that could have slowed down again and you know, if nothing else it caused them to use more clock yeah. to grab that ball and run now we got now we get you know in the 20s coming back well and you keep it out of the hands of uh mason book that yeah All right, Greenview defense. Yeah, if he could have put just Let's a little keep. less power on that kick and let it stop about five yards shorter. It'll be interesting to see. They, let's see what they come out with. If I'm Greenview, just keep it in front of you. Keep him out of the end zone. Yeah. And get in the half We do of the have lead. a deep safety. We do. He's a little cover three look here. That's Ginobile, isn't it? Well, they hand it off. Going up the middle. Keep. Yep. They may just be playing it safe. It may shock me. Unless, unless they're setting him up for another, you know, long pass here, it looks like they're just willing to go into halftime. Yep, he's going to let this clock run down, and they're going to go into halftime, and I'm assuming they're going to go fix some things. Um, middle, of, middle of the field's been open on, on West Jeff tonight. Now he may throw a Hail Mary right now. It's down to four, three. I don't even know if he's going to hike it. He did. Nope. Yep, the, the clock went out before he snapped it. Halftime. Wow. What a first half. Wow, that, that just surprised me. With an error 
passing that they've got, they didn't try to just move that. But again, they didn't say, what if we do something stupid here, and then now we're down 28 to 14. You know, I'll check this out. He's probably said, we got the team to come back. Why, why, why push things? Yeah, it's it's. they're going to go. They're going to take a look at the film, and they'll make the proper adjustments. It, it, it's going to come down to who makes the right adjustments, who over-adjusts, right? Right. Um, and then also, you know, I, I'm liking what I'm seeing out of Greenview right now. Those kids are they're riding high. I'm impressed. They, they're riding high. They're I didn't get to see last week's games. I have not seen Greenview play, and I tell to you right now, I'm impressed. Yeah. These guys are they're here to play. And it is Greenview, not Green Bay, by the way. It's <laughs> all right. If I start calling, screaming out Cincinnati or Joe Burrow, then we know there's <laughs> yeah. problems. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> well, we got chase plague. So. Yeah, we do. We do have a chase plague. Um, looks like Greenview's band setting up here. Yeah, I'm getting a little chilled up here. I, yeah, I, had, I brought my jacket. I told Rick, should I bring it up? Oh, no, you'll be fine. <laughs> I'm getting a little chilled. Well, I didn't realize the wind was going to – usually you got, you got this much of an opening. Yeah, he and, didn't and let you know that the wind was going to be blowing in the face. Yeah. So, You going down to my car and get my jacket you told me to leave? You did tell me that. <laughs> hey, Rick, would you go to the bathroom for me too? Who's your buddy? Yeah. You guys want stats? You want to take a picture of this? Absolutely. Yeah, you do it. Gotcha. All right. I'll we'll take a picture of uh, some stats here. Thank you, sir. Appreciate that. All right, let's take a look at some stats here for uh, for the first half. All right. Greenview opened up the scoring in the first quarter. Um, okay, well, I'm going to leave you to do that. I'm going to get my jacket. Absolutely. Um, like I said, Greenview opened up uh, the scoring in the first quarter. Um, and then they both traded punches in the second, both scoring 14 points. Right now, though, uh, Greenview is up 21-14. Um, so far, they're even with first downs, both at nine. Uh, rushing yards, Greenview leads. Uh, 16 rushes, 75 yards with West Jeffs, uh, 11 for 37. Uh, receiving yards, and this one might surprise you a little bit. You got uh, Greenview with eight. Uh, for 128, and, you, and then you have West Jeff with 10 for 99. Greenview with 128 passing yards, and West Jeff with 99. Um, right now, we have Alex Horney with 8 for 11 for 128, and then you have uh, Austin Bisher, 10 for 13 for 99. Neither team has thrown a pick, but there has been one turnover tonight, and that was West Jeff. Uh, carrying the load for Greenview, Alex Horney with seven rushes and 48 yards and two touchdowns tonight. Uh, Cooper Payton with five for 18 and Chase Walker with four for nine. Uh, for West Jeff, we have uh, Braxton Vance, four rushes for 16 yards, and Austin Bisher, four for 13, but he has one touchdown and one fumble tonight. Um, Receiving leaders, we have Joey Gianoba for Greenview with four receptions and 75 yards, one touchdown, and two massive third down conversions. Uh, Jacob Daughtery with two with 44, and Chase Walker, one for six. And then uh, we got Campbell Newman, number 83, is one reception for three yards. Uh, for the Rough Riders, you got Mason Book, five for 59. Jesse Harper, one reception for 15. Cameron Pearson, one for 12. You got Braxton Vance with two receptions for nine yards and one touchdown. And then Owen Warner, one reception for four yards. So far right now, Gia Noble, uh, three for three on PATs, and Zach Oyster, two for two 
Uh, pretty clean game for these guys. Um, for the defensive stats right now, I only have uh, West Jeffs and nobody other than Luke, Luke West heads that up. Uh, he has four tackles, two assists, and I could have swore he had more than that tonight. Uh, Luke has definitely been all over the field. Um, we'll take a quick break here. We'll let you guys enjoy the bands from both teams, and uh, we'll be back when the second half action starts.
Under the direction of Mr. Robert Breaker and assisted by Chris Pecco. Tonight, we open our show with a huge hit from the biggest pop star on the planet. Here's our version of the Taylor Swift mega hit, You Belong to Me. cheerleaders and the girls from cheer camp 2023.
Greenview football team coming back out. More, minute 42 to go till halftime is. And here comes the home team Rough Riders. Should have bought me a ticket. I might have been winning some money while I was here. Went to my granddaughter's bowling match one time. They had a 50-50 raffle. I walked in, and they said, last call, and I just walked in. So I walked over and bought a ticket. Won. Well, I always like to buy late because it seemed like when they dropped the ticket in, then they moved them, and they took the top ticket to the bottom and then reached down low. <laughs> All right. Well, we've got a ball game here, don't we, Cody? Yeah, we do, absolutely. <clears throat> By the way, Cody, remind everybody what you do for a living. Oh, I, well, right now I work at uh, Miami Trace High School. Uh, that's my alma mater. And What do you do in the springtime? Uh, I coach baseball at Cedarville High School. <laughs> I'm the head varsity baseball coach there. and um, been so this will be my third season. I think next year you're going to have a good team, yeah, myself. I yeah, got, got a lot returning. You got a lot of returning players. They were very good players. So I look uh, for a, are, a very good year next year. These guys are working hard. They're uh, they're primed and ready to go. And tonight they, a lot of my, a lot of my guys they play. Uh, and they were they really play football. Coming, and they're really coming on late, right? Yeah, the last yeah. We had season. a we had a, we had a lot of kinks early on, um, but it, it was some growing pains that we had to go through. Kind of changing of the guard, in a sense. We didn't have uh, – we only had one senior, and Noah Burr, he was a great athlete for us and, and, and great leader. And uh, we had a lot of guys that were kind of new to being full-time uh, starters. and But they worked through it. We, we, we kept the course. And, and and I watched them play from the beginning to the end, yeah. and I saw the growth. I yeah. saw them turning into a, 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 a team at the end of the season. Yeah, we uh, – 
You know, and that's all you can ask for. Um, I'm hard on my guys, and anybody that's played for me knows that. I, I'm really hard, so expectations are always high, no matter if you're if you're you know having some season struggles or if you're if you're if you're high. There's always something that you can improve and, and work on. And you can't now you can't get too hard on them on errors because no. I saw you make a couple errors at uh, oh. <laughs> down the third baseline. Hey, when uh, Mason Johnson turns on a, a <laughs> fastball and it's coming at you that hard, yeah, I'm getting out of the way. I'm not staying there. I love picking on you during the game, uh, but yeah, I, I'm, I'm, we're excited for this year. Um, we, we, we were, my coaching staff and I were really confident that those guys that are, that are returning uh, got the extra year underneath their belt. They're coming into their senior year, and uh, they're going to be ready to go. And and the OHC man, it's if you're unfamiliar with the OHC baseball, football, basketball. It's two-sided conferences. You got the north and the south. And you're um, in the south, correct? Yeah, yeah, we are in the south with Greenview, uh, Central Catholic. Um, who else is it? Madison Plains, Southeastern, and obviously Greenview. And, and you play everybody, and every game 100% matters, and it's it's cutthroat. You're seeing ones and ones and twos constantly, and um, you got to you, you be inter- built for it. And you got a couple of interesting games. We you got to go to. Um, UC. Yeah, we played uh, Hubbard out of Youngstown last year at UC. And, and March shot field, and then we went to Wittenberg. Yeah, we went to Wittenberg twice, twice, I believe. Yeah, we went there. We got rained out the first time, and then we were there for our sectional uh, game against uh, Springfield uh, Central Springfield, Catholic. Single, and uh, those are good games. It was. We lost on a – well, if you ask me how we lost, you may not want to listen to me on that one. <laughs> I, I, I think it was a technicality, but you know what? It happened. I, I remember we, that it one. It was yeah. a tough pill to swallow, and – and I've, talk, I've talked to Coach Metzger. He's the AD over there at, at Catholic Central. And, um, you know, that that's a call that could go either way at that yep. time. And, you know, Coach and I and are, are pretty pretty close as far as the coaching world goes. So um, I will I would be lying if I didn't tell you. I, I've texted him several times and ready for that rematch. So we can get back to it. <laughs> That'll be an interesting <coughs> game. I'm hoping we can do that again for you guys. Absolutely. This year. Well, we, we, like I said, I, I told Rick this uh, when you guys were at the Miami Trace Wilmington game. I love this. I think these kids deserve every bit of the recognition. That, you know, have the game on and yeah. you know talk about them a little bit and showcase their skills and their hard work. It you know it really helps. Um, you know, it keeps them feeling like okay, I'm you know I'm playing for something. If say the season's going bad or going good, you know they got. And, they get and the it, recognition they need. And what I'm, what I try to do on there, you know, I try to be truthful. What happened? Absolutely. But at the same time, I don't try to pick on. My, I'm bringing out. I try to bring out the best they do. What Absolutely. they do good. At the same time, if they drop a ball, you know, I'm going to be truthful. <laughs> they drop the ball. They drop I mean, it. an error. <laughs> but at the same, you know. But same time, you know, it, like I said, it's it's great for them, man. Especially when you're talking small school football or small school baseball. You know, they're not getting the recognition that some of these bigger schools are, yeah. but it, it, it's a it's a great thing. I love it, and I and I'm glad you guys have brought me on here to be a part of it too, because um, well, I've always to wanted to do this. I, I've dabbled in a little broadcast journalism when I was in school. I never um, thought I'd do this until I don't know, ten years ago or whatever, when Rick first contacted me. <laughs> And I was just sitting at home eating ice cream. Well, and, it's like, you, and now look at you. Now yeah. we're, we're eating hot dogs and hamburgers and watching a good football game. <laughs> All right, looks like Greenview's teeing it up here. Let's see what we got. 21-14, Greenview Gianobo, leads. Gianobo going to go back to – I like to say that name, you know. Gianobo, Gianobo going back to part of the kickoff. Yeah. Got right. two back deep. See where the kick goes. He's been hitting line drives. It's a little well, higher. He puts it up and it's going, going to go down to about to 15. And he's, he's going around the right seam. side. He's got a seam, and he gets it out to about the 37-yard line. 37, 38-yard line. Good return by Mason Book. I don't know about you, but I don't think I'm kicking him the football. I would have <laughs> kicked it over here somewhere. Great athlete. Great athlete over there. He seems he can always make something out of nothing. Yeah, he has great, great vision. He's real shifty. He sees an opening, and he doesn't hesitate. He hits it. All right, here we go. And it is about the 38, I think, is where they finally marked that ball. Yep. First down. Hand off. Oh, He's we getting hit in the backfield. Number Man. nine. They faked that nobody is Chase out. Chase Walker making a big play and making a statement coming out of halftime. He was – Bisher was handing that ball off, and the uh, tackler was almost taking the ball. 
All right, here we go. Oh. We got second and 13. Now I'm in trouble when I can't see what I'm. <laughs> we, need a, we need a light. Well, we got one. But. Fisher takes Back pass. To the pass to the Goes right side. Oh! And it's caught by number one. That is Cade Miller, Cade senior Miller. wide receiver. Number five for um, Greenview, Alex Horney. Oh, that's the quarterback, yeah. He went up. I mean, that ball was just over the reach of his mm -hmm. hand. He almost intercepted that pass, or at least knocked it down. Great pass by Bisher there. There we go. Hey, nice. Hey, we got a little light here. I didn't read my names because, you know. First and 10, handoff hand to number 23. And goes up the middle for about three yards. Be Braxton Vance. That's Vance. We got Vance and Kite. White Kite. K E Y T. And I'm glad they told me how to pronounce that because I would not have pronounced it that way. It's an interesting spelling. And so there's a, there's a couple names still, on here. It's like, well, if they get in the game, we apologize in advance. We'll, uh, we'll do our best. That's what I always say. I'll do the best I can on names. Low, low, snap. Hand, low snap again, going up the middle. Vance gets about four more yards. Four yards. You got third and roughly three, three and a half, Vance four. I almost say three. Yeah. West Jeff kind of taking a play out of the Greenview's playbook here, kind of slowing things down and uh, running the football. See if they can come down and tie the game up here in the second half. Start the second half. Low snap again. Met in the backfield Met by the number nine, Chase Walker. Somebody is motivated in this second half, and it is none other than junior Chase Walker. He's made two big plays. Okay, we got uh, fourth and five here, and we're going to go for it. Big play here for fourth Greenview. Fourth and five from the 45-yard line. We got Bisher. They showing uh, – Checking their play cards here. Know where Mason Book is at. Going back to pass, looking, standing, looking. He's getting rushed. Oh, he's boy. getting rushed. He's running for his life. Oh. He's, playing, he's running again. He's throwing up in the air. It's caught wow. for a first down. Wow. No flag. What a play. I mean, he just sort Austin of. Austin Bisher kept that alive. I mean, it's completely broken down. There, there was nowhere was to go. And you know what? Sometimes you just got to tip your cat. Great play. Wow, good. they had him stop. They had him on the run and uh, almost for a loss. Uh, first down from the 38-yard line. Low snap, picks up, throws all across the middle. And hit, brought hit down, but after after gaining another four or five yards after the catch. King Tripp come and clean that one up. And it's a first down. Getting a play from the sideline here. Got a two by two set bunch. Bisher takes the snap, hands it off, yeah. straight up to gut to number 23. Gets a good four yards there on the carry. Oh, they got a late flag coming in, I heard someone say. No? Um, yep, yep. Do. I missed it. On West Jeff, looks like. Uh-oh. Unsportsmanlike. That's his first of the game. I didn't see the number. I didn't either. It's a 15-yarder, big 15-yarder here. Man, you do not need that when you're moving the ball. So now that makes it second and what, about 20, 21? Mm, yeah. Then we move the ball to the 38-yard line. It'll be second down, 20. 20. They're saying 20. Wow. They can make it up in a hurry, though. And it's screen. screen to the back. And it can pull, pulled out of bounds at around the 30-yard line, maybe 29. Some West Jeff fans wasn't a late hit there. So he got up 
It's going to be about 11 yards, I think. Third and long here. Four down territory, I'm assuming. Can Greenview get off the field? All right, here we go. All right, be sure in the, I mean, be sure. <clears throat> be sure in the backfield. Looking to the right, looking to the right, wide open. And there's a hole, a oh. uh, penalty coming it's down, I'm assuming a hold. a hold. And it's coming back. Coming back. Yep, signaling to the official. Holding. I mean, he was standing like ho hum where I wanted to look around yeah. here. I mean, and even the running back went up to block, and there was nobody to block. He's just standing there. It's like I held on number 52, Joseph Keen. Whoop, I can't get that. That's your. I gotcha. Hooked underneath my wire here. And we're moving them back again. Uh, they go up, we go back. We go up, we go back. I think that was just one of the extra ones I had for you. Yeah, that's all right. All right, here we go. Third and a mile. Third and another at least 20 again, 2021. 20, you still got 11. Oh, there it is, 21. And back looking, looking deep, looking deep, throwing deep down the middle. He's open. Oh, he caught the ball. He's down to the two-yard line. Maybe they're going to mark Great. him at the one. It was a great effort by number 22 for Greenview. Oh, he was, jumped uh, up to get the ball. The ball Thomas went right Pierce. over his fingertip. I mean, we saw this pre-game. He, when he throws the ball, he puts it right where he, he wants does. it. He does. It's a great throw. Man, they had third and forever, and he makes the pass. Now it's first and goal to go from the one. Go for that back out pass here. Well, they also got a one-on-one -on -one matchup up top there with Book and Armand Walker. Right. Going to hand Man off. off. Going up the middle. And got him. Greenview they maybe get it. lost a half yard on that play. Now Greenview's going to say, if you want it, you're going to earn it. Absolutely. They, they put it back on the two. He was on the one. He's on the two now, so they lost a yard. You're going to throw it here. Oh, I'm sure. You and you're a passing team, and it doesn't work on the run. I don't see. You get them bunched up this way too. You can you can create some confusion with some drag routes and things like that. But once the back out of the backfield again. Yeah. No, he's going up the middle. He's running it again. He got in. He got the push. Got the push that time. I did surprise me. I looked for a pass. All right, all knotted up here. Well, well not yet. Well, got to yeah. wait for the kickoff. Got to wait. Got to wait. I was really shocked. I looked for the back to go that way out of the backfield. And if he's open, then the quarterback just turning this way if, if he's covered. And uh, Yeah, that's the thing with the team that's dangerous. Any formation that they give you, it, there's a million different possibilities, um, especially with the weapons that they have. Kicks and it's up, up, and it's good. And it's good. All knotted up here. 21-21, 6-23 left to go in the third quarter. I will say, though, Greenview had two opportunities to get off the football field and did not do so. That's it. Got to get off the football field against a team When you're like given this. the chance, you got this team back twice to 20 yards for a first down yep. and let them let him get back for a first down. And West Jefferson is too good to give them too many chances. Absolutely. You keep giving them chances, they're going to come back. But we got Alex Horney in the Graham, uh -huh. or Graham Greenview offense coming back out. I tell out. you what, when I went down at halftime, Greenview people were talking about Horney. Horney. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah, man, he's played they really said, well that first half. They time. said, that is a quarterback. Yeah. It's like we got Chase Walker, and I can't tell his jersey smudged up over there. But if nothing else, he's got their respect. Looks like he had a uh, penalty there. Is that where they're kicking from the 45? or the? Uh, I'm not sure what they're doing here. Now they're moving oh, up. Though. Maybe go. they just had it marked at the wrong spot. Yeah. Look for the pooch here. Yeah, I was like, why are they on the 45? Yeah, Or the 35, not 45, excuse me. I'm looking at the 40-yard line going five yards in this way, wrong way, 35. But they just had it marked up on the wrong spot. Again, yeah. See what Oyster does here. 
Turns and it loose. And finally kicks one off deep. Turns it loose. Gets it at the Can't 12. Tell who it is. 20. 25, 30 yard line. Got a nice, nice comeback on that play. That's the first one he actually he kicked, kicked it long. deep. Yep. yep. Can't tell the number. Eleven. You were on the run back. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Looks like never, Cameron I, Ashley. Ashley, sophomore. way to go. Yeah. I can't see that well, especially at nighttime in these glasses. So. All right, we looks got like two. Looks like Peyton's back in the game. A it does look, looks like a four on there. Yep, 42. Tied in up top. You got trips to the to the bottom here. Peyton up the middle. Oh, he has some room. Ooh. Oh. Got kicked out. Nice he tackle got about, by number 35. Got about a yard or so on that ball. Got an injured player. Oh, injured player on the field for the Rough Riders. Don't like to see anybody hurt out no, there. No, absolutely not. Hopefully, maybe it's you know, cramps. I'm not sure. It's Could not be. a hot night for it, but. She's not stretching him out, so I'm assuming it's probably with the ankle. Once up. Oh, they're helping him up? Yeah. I know. Oh, can't tell. I thought they were putting their hand down to help him up for a second. Can't tell what number that is. Yeah, they are. 30, uh, 56. 56. Uh-oh. Is that a? That's Luke, Luke West. West. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> yeah, uh -oh. I, that is an uh-oh. It that. didn't even hit me for a second after I said that. Uh-oh, they're helping him off the field. Yeah, that's tough there. That Hate doesn't say that. he's out of the game for the rest of the game. No, nope, they just need to take – they're probably going to go to the training table. They're going to look at him and assess it. And right. See what, see what happens, but that's a big – that's, that's a that's big a, loss right yeah, now for, for uh, West Jeff. Jeff, Jeff. He's been the defensive player of the game. Oh, absolutely. He's been all over the field. Hopefully it's nothing too serious and he can get back out there and continue. I agree with you. Hopefully he just rolled it a little bit and it, you know, it be right back out there. Yep. Going to put him up on the table right down in front of us. All right, here we go. So Peyton with the ball the off the left side, made a move. He's out near first down. I was going to see where they mark it. I think him a third and short here. It's either first down or mm. or going to be just shy. Ooh. Oh, they called it. They gave him the first down. Nice did he? Yes, they did. Yes, they did. Man, the kid runs hard. Hard nice right. downhill runner there. They got two good running backs coming out of that backfield. Absolutely. Chase Walker and Peyton both. All right. Horny and Peyton in the backfield. We got two. No, trips to the bottom. And Peyton again. Peyton again. Run. Three that was yards a, and a that was a good dust. that was a good handoff because the running the defense coming through ran right by him. Absolutely. Got a little read option going on there. Yeah, um, I think it was. I think it was. And Horney did a good enough job to make it look like he was keeping the ball and the guy was going for him. Absolutely. So now we got second and about five. Yep, second and five. You need to get to the fifty for a first down. Got one down, one up. And running, again. and he's going to be short about three yards. He's going to get about two on that play. So now we're going to be third and short. And um, they've been very just running the ball here, just trying to use as much clock as they can to seem the second the half. The offensive line's getting a really good push. And, and, and like I said before, Peyton's a, a runner that if you try to arm tackle him, that's not going to happen. You're going to have to wrap him up and drive. Uh, and he runs through the first yep. contact nine times out of ten. Okay. Going to be a quarterback keeper going up the middle. Oh, he has room. He's got room. He's got through. Nice He's got to the 45 run. over Alex the – Horny. Nice run. Nice run by Horny. And that was quarterback run all the way. 
Oh, <laughs> I thought he was calling something back here. <laughs> it's a, it's kind of similarities between the two players back there. They both that, that first contact's not doing much. They're, no. They keep their legs turning and they get they break through it. And, yes, and that was a great run. Great run. So we got Horny and Peyton in the backfield. We got is that trips to the south and, and trips us. They got a tight end up top there. A little motion out. Corny up the middle again. He saw something. Oh, he's got room. He's going up the he's middle. Room. He crept uh -oh. to the left side. He's still running. Ten. Five. Oh, Fell short. Fell oh, short, fell short about the out. one yard line. They had him out. Looks like the. Oh, uh, they've got him marked up here. Four. Four. Three. Oh, he moved up. This referee had him marked at like wow. the one, one and a half. Maybe two oh, yard line. Alex Horning tonight, ladies Man, and gentlemen. Man, that play. was a play. Great football tonight. I, th I thought it was just going to be a three-yard run, and boom, he took off. Then I thought they had him, and he took off again. Got a player down again for West Jeff. Sitting up. So he said, I a, think it's cramps on him. Might be a cramp. The way he's holding his legs. Keeping an eye on Luke West down here. He's got a shoe off. It's yeah, over here. Assuming that they're – well, the trainer had to leave him to go tend to the next play. Yeah. But, uh, hate to see that. I got a couple guys down there on some crutches. The injury bug sometimes can oh, be Oh, man, uh, that contagious. can kill a team real it quick. It does. <laughs> to be honest with you, to see a shootout between Greenview and West Jeff has been a delight tonight. I would have uh, – like I said before. I mean, nothing against no, nothing I, against West Jeff. It's two just, different play styles. It, it's just good football. That's good, what we're saying. Cl good, clean football. That's it. Both sides. Um, like I said, it, we had the two uh, pass interference call mm -hmm. in the first half. And so far, the second half, everything's been pretty much pretty clean. clean. And, um, we did have the one. We had a holding. And the, uh, the penalty against somebody for saying something. Yeah. Another net. But in a game this close, I – would be surprised if they weren't talking to each other oh, a little bit. They're probably talking to each other all the time. <laughs> it's just how close is the referee when you're saying yeah, it sometimes. Exactly. <laughs> all right, he's getting off on his own power. Looks like number 23. Yep, he's Vance. got a little limp to him, but he's coming. He'll be all right in a minute. Probably get some fluids in him. He was laying on – I mean, he was setting up and trying to pull his toes back. So, I was telling him he was trying probably to – cramp. Yeah. Okay. All right. Here we we go. got first down balls on about the two yard line from my what I'm looking at. Got the at. up back. Let me say this ball's going to Peyton. Peyton in Ooh. there hitting him. Oh. And he bounces off. Touchdown. He goes in. Oh my gosh. I thought they had him stopped. Touchdown. He was stopped and he bounced off and went off the left tackle my. and touchdown. We got ourselves a football game. We tonight. have a football game. I tell you what, it's been a delight to watch. I am glad I am not sitting at home <laughs> watching television tonight. You know, you got you got tail of two teams here. You got a team with a great quarterback and some early explosive players, and then you have hard nose running tailback and a quarterback nice who also kick. has been throwing the ball exceptionally well as well. Ginobili up for the extra point. Good kick, Ginobili. Here comes the response. Let's see what happens Let's see here. see what happens. And this is actually with, with Bisher being a sophomore, to be in competitive games like this, it's only going to make him better. And what, Imagine what he's going to be like when he's a senior. And what makes this game really interesting right now to me is coming into this game, we were expecting West Jeff to be in control and Greenview trying to stay in. Right now, Greenview's staying ahead. West Jeff's trying to yep. stay in, and, yep. and it's a different concept. Uh, and yep. And I'll tell you what, when, when you're the team that thinks we're the team to beat, and, and this happens to you, it's, yeah. it affects you Sometimes when you're playing. Sometimes you, you, you get snuck up on, but like I said, I mean, Greenview, these guys have uh, – Greenview saying I, respect us. Yep. They're and coming in saying, hey, guys, we're here to play. We better respect us. They're here. We lost some fans right here. Yeah, we did, didn't we? Got 
at uh, Greenview student section over there, or what's left of them. Let's see they're, where he kicks. Hyped his, up. Let's see where he kicks this ball this time. <laughs> a short, a little puncher, scooped up at the twenty, oh, and he's coming okay. around the right. No, he changed his mind and he's going down. <laughs> I thought he was going to come around the right side, and I was like, "Uh oh, here he goes." Yeah, yeah. And he hit the brakes. I. Sometimes you outguess yourself when you stop and go. Sometimes. <laughs> All right. West Jeff has the ball on their own 22-yard line. 317 left in the third quarter. 28-21. Greenview leads this game. And if you're at home watching this game, you're missing a good game here. It is a really, really great game to be here watching. You got a two by two set. Fish your hands off to Kite. Going up the middle. He's pushing, pushing. And they stopped him. Stuffed by a host. About the 24 yard line. Maybe 23 by way this referee's marking it over here. An injured player for Greenview here. Now we got a Greenview player down. This is timeout for an Okay. Let's see if I can pick up some local scores here. Okay. It's from the OHC. That's all Rick's always doing for me when he's up here catching scores. See what Trace. Trace Miami is. Trace is currently up 19 to 7 on Bethel Tate in the okay. second quarter. Surprise, it's not a little more than that. But yeah. Been a lot of surprises tonight. Cedarville and Mechanicsburg are tied 14 to 14. Now that's. A bit of a surprise, but that, not not really. I mean, these guys are headed for a crash course yes. week ten, and let me tell you, that's going to be a big one. I mean, you really you got two. You got what's that? Uh, one of the best from the south, one of the best from the north, playing each other right there, right? Uh, between Greenview and Cedarville, they're both in the south. So that's what I'm saying. But who's playing Green? Uh, oh, Cedarville's yeah, playing Cedarville, Mechanicsburg. Yeah, Mechanicsburg is in the north, north as well. Yeah, yeah. That's what yeah. I'm saying. That game, you got one of the best yeah. in the south playing one of the best in the north, meeting each other. West Jeff still has. That's I think I'm, if I'm not mistaken, West Jeff's big rival right now is Mechanicsburg. That's what they told me tonight. And that again, actually, both teams are they're all undefeated. I think. Yeah, right they're now. heading for a crash course. It looks like. Got to, trying to pick up a score here from Madison Plains and Triad, but nothing has been reported as of right now. Here we go in the backfield. Fisher. Looking to throw, throwing out to the right side, and it's all is out of bounds and off his hands anyway. So, kind of, kind of threw that back on his back foot a little bit. But yeah, he did. Even then, that was a that's a big boy throw right no, there. It, it throw was that, throw that deep out like that. I mean, look how far he had to throw it, and that had power when it hit the guy's hands. It yeah. had punch to it. Absolutely. It'd be interesting to find out where he's planning on going after this year. And Got back to Bisher looking to the right. He's running over to his left, looking, oh, throwing, he's got a guy and he just threw it away. He threw it away. He had a guy open, but he was being rushed, and he just threw it away. Cameron Pearson got behind King uh, Tripp, and... So now we got fourth down. They're deep. They're going to have to punt the ball back to Greenview. Greenview's setting okay. pretty right now with 2.48 to left in the third quarter. If they can score again in this third quarter, have a two-score lead going, going into the fourth. fourth quarter, there's going to be some surprise faces on this field here. Play running on late for Greenview. Yep. Here's the snap. And the kick is short, very short. Get away. It's It'll going to roll down. dead about the 49-yard line. Did not even make it midfield. That was about a, what, a 20-yard punt? Got another player down for West Jeff. Oh, boy. Uh, 23? Yep, that is Vance again. Yeah. Got another Ohio Heritage Conference update. Southeastern is down 14-21 to to West Liberty Salem. West Liberty Salem has a really good team this year. Both of those teams also are three and zero. So that was that West Liberty and, and, and Southeastern. Southeastern. Yep. Yeah. That, that was a uh, a game that people were, were were talking about a little bit. And um, uh, Southeastern has a really good quarterback out of Zach McKee, um, a kid that can really command the offense. So in West Lib, they have a running back. Uh, I'm not sure what his name is, but I've heard that he's making quite some some, some noise and. Uh, he's actually currently leading the OHC in rushing right now.
Probably should have had all these pulled up before. <laughs> yeah. Still tending, looks like a cramp. Got to hydrate, huge. Hydration is done yep. throughout the week. But sometimes if you're not drinking enough uh, during the game, it can sneak up on you as well. We and, but a lot of these are not what you're doing during the game as much as what you did the night before. Yeah, absolutely. And, I, and many players don't realize that. They're, uh, you know, they wait till game time. They start drinking a lot. And it's like, guys, the night before, what you eat, what you drink, what you put in your body is going to affect what and you do the next day. How much sleep you get. Yes, and how much sleep you thank you. Yeah. Looks like I uh, got another score here from the Frontier Athletic Conference. Big rival for Miami Trace. Washington is up 27-10 to 10 on Buckeye Valley. That's kind wow. of a surprising score there. Buckeye Valley uh, – I think just coming off a loss to Jonathan Alder, perennial powerhouse. Oh, and, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Over there by London. Uh, played them really close. So I was ended up watching the highlights of that game. and A um, couple turnovers. Turn, turnover bug hurt Buckeye Valley there, and they dropped it. So they brought the card out. He must be cramping hard. Now, my old my mater, East Clinton, uh, won a big game last week, like 62. Yeah, the Fayetteville Perry, right? That's Fayetteville Perry, yeah. yeah. Sort of interested in how they play and how they come back. Mm -hmm. uh, Coach Olds, I'm assuming, is still there, right? What's that? Coach Olds. Olds yep, is still yep, there, yeah. Yep. He's, uh, he's a, a good coach for, for East Clinton. Yeah, his uh, I think it's his uncle, I think, that was the one at Kings that really turned that program around. Yeah, yep, he's uh, – all right, we got uh, Greenview coming back on here. Statement drive here. Kind of take the game under control for Greenview if they can. Boy, they can. If they can march down, kill the cl clock, and even going to the fourth quarter, take to the fourth quarter before they score. Keep ball the ball. control, nothing fancy. If they come out running like they did earlier and, and controlling the ball, this could be a game. And Wes is still out of the game. And a handoff to Payton. Here, Payton coming on, on the right side. side. He does a spin move, gets to the 40. That was actually Chase Walker that time. Was that Walker? That was Walker. Okay. I thought it was Payton. Yeah, I went with you. <laughs> Chase, Walker, the Chase Walker. Walker, they just announced. When they're up there sideways, I can't see yeah. their number until they start running. And then I, I was watching ahead. Yep, I see number nine walking back there now. They're, they're doing a good job of moving them back and forth, keeping them both fresh. Looks so, like, uh, second and two. Going to hand off again. Going to eat that clock. He's got the first down. Ball control. Got ball about three control. yards. Only needed two for the first down. Chase Walker, the ball carrier. And do, we got a. And the clock starting up again. Had to move the markers. First down. First down, ball on the 38-yard line, 38-and-a-half. Got one in the backfield. I think that's Walker, isn't it? It is Walker. Set to the right. And hand off. No, oh, keeper. Well, he keeps he's it. coming he's around the right side. He's got the curve. He's going down the sideline. Touch. Touchdown. Oh. Greenview. Greenview. Nice read option play there. Horney was able to get around the outside. And in and the third quarter, 125 prior to the fourth quarter, Greenview takes a two-touchdown lead. 34-21 at this point with one kickoff come, or uh, extra point coming I didn't even notice number nine Walker is the holder. I just now noticed that. Yeah. Late comer coming in again, the middle. Oh. It's up. It's good. 35-21. We've got a shocker going on here 
at West Jefferson. And there are probably many Greenview fans we'll like, listening you, there saying, what do you mean shocker? We knew all along. Well, I'm not talking. I mean, I'm, West Jefferson is shocked. I'll, a little bit. You know, I don't care what anybody else thought. West Jefferson people are shocked. <laughs> Somebody said I'm not shocked. <laughs> <laughs> there is. Are you shocked? Are you shocked at the score? <laughs> We have uh, we still got some football to play here. It'll be interesting to see how the young sophomore uh, signal caller can uh, get back to it and lead his troops. That's right. Now, who are you talking about? To who? Young sophomore. Um, Fisher. He's a sophomore. Okay, you're right. Yep. I kept look, <laughs> I like, um, looking. I at kept looking. I've gone across her to senior, Chris to senior. All right. Ginobili with the kick. Oh, oh boy. Fall on it. Oh, fell on it. I don't know what he was showing me there. Rick doing his little stupid stuff. What were you showing me? Oh, well, he's been reading scores. I, I've just had to, sh I've had to search them up, yeah. But it went off when you showed it to me, so I didn't see anything. All right, here we go. Bisher running in with the play. Huh? <laughs> he's been reading them. I, I said, this is what Rick Dooley does for me, and you're doing a great job. He's doing a ten, way better than the guy I'm normally beside out here. <laughs> All right, we're going to hear uh, Beecher in the backfield. I think that's uh, Kite back there. Yep, he's got a little bit of room. That's still around about a three-yard Got about, going to mark it about a yard and a half. Second right down, I'm going to say eight. That's what they say. They say nine, so we'll yep. go nine. Two-yard gain, <laughs> Two gain, it's a second nine. All right, I like this. <laughs> well, it looks like it's a little more than one yard off the mile marker, uh, yard marker. Be sure in the backfield. Get the Looking to come to his left. Throws and into the dirt. He... I don't know if Greenview's defense is so just complexing him or something right now. It's um, they're making it, they're forcing him out of the pocket a little right. bit, and, uh, and and then they're taking away his first read, and then making the, it hard for him to find somebody. The Greenview secondary has really stepped up this evening. I think so. I think they've really changed things up, and I think they're really mix, mix, mixing things up for him, giving him different looks. All right, All right we're we going with an empty here. Trips to the top two. Down south. And then we got a rush on the quarterback. He's throwing it. He threw it. There was nobody there. Wow. Let's see if they throw a flag. Number three came untouched. Untouched. Number three to number three. Mm -hmm. Jacob no flag. Daughtery. I didn't see. He, I mean, he described and threw it. I didn't, I didn't see a receiver, but there may have been somebody over in that area. Anyway, it doesn't matter. It's fourth down. They're going to have to punt the ball. Yep. Man, they they uh, they caught him by surprise on that play. Gotta have a good punt. And here. again, they're gonna get the ball back in the with in the third quarter with a two 44. touchdown lead. Oh, we got offsides. I thought we was gonna have motion, but it's offsides. It's gonna be fourth and five, but they're not going to go for it. For they're gonna go for it. He just called for him. Did he really? Yeah, they're gonna go for it. Oh my God! On your own end of the field, you're daring. Well, they got some ground to make up. I don't hate the call. I think, you know, you got a lot of trust in your quarterback, and, and you got I mean, somebody you, like Mason Book that can make plays. Um, what is it about nine yard, four yards? I mean, it's three. It says three, but I think three, it's, yeah, it's, it's a good four. To four. Um, it'd be interesting to see. You got to draw something up here. Yeah. This may be something that he's had in his back pocket up until this point, and he's going to pull it out. Let's see what happens. Fourth down, four yards on their own side of the field. He's going back deep. Here comes the rush. Quarterback's trying to run it. He throws. It's bopped off. He caught it. And it's a first down. Oh, my gosh. So much stuff happened on that play. 
I think the play was for the quarterback to run, and then he rushed him. Yeah. And then he caught him out in the middle of the field. It bounced off his hands in the air. It's a great. And then great he pass. caught it. I don't know if I'd have had the guts to call that, but uh, they did, and uh, they got it pressure worked. on him. He stepped up in the pocket, saw his man. I'm not sure if he was thrown to him though. It looked like they had a guy behind him. It might have been. That may have been why it hit off his hand so hard. Throwing to the left side. Makes a move here. Got a good – and running down for a loss. Great swarm by he, Greenview there. Pass was completed, but they lost about three yards on that play. I mean, with Bisher losing three yards, if you're passing, that doesn't mean a whole lot a lot of times. Hey, that's the end of the fourth quarter. 35-21. Two touchdown lead going into the fourth quarter against West Jefferson. Can Greenview keep it up and hold on? It'll be interesting. And the to see. thing is, I, I don't like the term "hold on." That that like settles. It's can they keep it moving? Can they keep it going? This is where you got to finish. Fourth quarter. Well, you know, if they went there for first down, they're going fourth down. Oh yeah, they got a little momentum here. Um, big play. And first things first, they, they got to get in the end zone here. They get in the end zone, you know, with the way. Well, if they get in the end zone real quick off this, a lot of time, yeah, they're back in the game. Yeah, some of the special team stuff that, you know, they've been able to accomplish tonight, a couple onside kicks. And, yeah. You know, there's, who's to say they go down and score? And then when they, it, they when it was, one and when it it was fourth and ten and they were punting and they went off sides. If they hadn't went off sides, they punted and Greenview got the ball back. I mean, who knows what would have happened there. Yep. That was a big turnaround. Somebody's going to be in big trouble for being offsides on that play. Yeah. Flip sides of the field here. Oh, oh, he wasn't ready. Hold on. Well, something happened here. The snap was made. The quarterback was talking to the sidelines. Well, he was even looking toward the Greenview side. He must have been looking at a wide receiver. I was thinking he was talking to his court coach, but <laughs> that was uh, – he was looking at Greenview side and the snap went. But he was staring at like the number three over there. I don't know yeah, what I'm he not was. entirely sure what, what, what I don't know what was going was on, there. but something he was looking to his left, maybe talking to the receiver or the running back where they should be, and about that time here came the snap. I see him in disarray. So it's third right and long, close to twenty. Here goes a deep pass down the field. He caught it. Big catch. Mason Big Book. time catch. Big time catch. Mason Book made a big time. I mean, he was defense, couldn't have made a better defensive play. I mean, he was on him step by step, just shorter than him. Yeah, Went when, up. when you need to play in a big way, you know, they're gonna they're gonna call his number. I feel like it's been a while since we've really talked about him. Every right, second. it has been. Yeah. Yep. Big catch there, puts him in the red zone. Just All right, inside empty the 20. backfield, trips north. Looking left, throwing quickly, caught, him. breaks the first tackle, breaks the second tackle, he and he's in for a touchdown. Yeah, and Mason we Book. got a different ball game going, people. I mean, two minutes ago, we had them punting to Greenview with a two-touchdown lead and getting the ball back to now them scoring and a one going to be a one-touchdown one lead with game. a whole quarter technically to go. 10.54 left in the fourth quarter. Big difference in this game. All because of going forward on fourth down, fourth and five. Low kick, but made it over. Good. Okay. We got, got to finish, fourth quarter. Let's see what Greenview can answer. Now, if Greenview answers on this, comes right back down, takes time off that clock and scores, that puts them down two with less time on the clock again. It, but Greenview has to score. With this quick pass play team, That they cannot go three and out and give the ball back. Nope. That's what I said a minute ago about staying in, you know, staying in the game. You got it, you can't, you got to keep playing. You can't just hold on to the lead. There's no holding on to the lead against this team. I'm interested to see what special teams unit does here. I've been talking for a little bit. I don't care what Rick says. Greenview's got a great team. <laughs> Silver curtain. 
<laughs> What's that? <laughs> All right. Now it's interesting. What are they going to do here? Are they going to do an onside short muff kick or kick it deep again? They've done it all, so you don't yeah. know what to expect. Definitely not to keep you honest. It's an onside oh, kick. Oh, They got it back. They got it back. I mean, the line all started going back. If they'd have stayed their position, <laughs> I I was saying, you watch never for, know what's up the sleeve of Coach Bisher. Wow, that's two onside kicks. I mean, you should have been waiting for that. Yeah. Not leave your position yeah. until that ball passes you. The key is, you don't leave until the ball is kicked. Right, and they were already. When, when he got about a foot and a half from the ball, they, they, took off. They, they took off running. So that's something that probably Coach Bisher picked up on film. And it could be, watch them. If you see him break. Mm -hmm. And Here here's the handoff in the backfield. Coming around the outside is White. Or run. Kite, excuse nice me. Nice run by Kite. Around the right side, and he got the first down, I believe. I don't know why they're not moving the yard marker yet. Is there a flag down? Is that a flag right there? It is. They're like holding. Are they moving back? Yep, holding. Yep, yep holding on West back. Jeff. All right. Well, I tell you what, the Rough Riders have went – up, went back, went up, went back, and they still go up. So, you know, sometimes these are just bumps in the road for them. First down and nine. First down and nine. Ball at the 45-yard line. He's going, Bishop's back, looking, throwing oh, deep down the left side. He's open. Well, oh, there's a flag. Yeah, yeah, we called that one. Uh, he, he, didn't, his, he didn't need to. No, think, that ball was going to be overthrown. Yeah. And he grabbed his shoulder pad and gave him a first down. He did not need to do that. That would have been an incomplete pass. Yeah. Yeah. You're shooting yourself in well, the foot, guys. guess who's guy. back in a football game? West. <laughs> love it. That's why you love uh, That's why you I love said when he came football, off the man. field, don't expect. No. They, 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 two, down two scores. No. West is right there. Oh, yeah. yeah it's West, not West. Yeah. I believed you, but he's getting out. He's not coming back in. Nope, he's got no, his leg think, iced yep. up. So his night's over. Which yeah, is, his ankle's got a big ice pad on it. But his teammates are picking him up right now. They They're are. They're on the they door. Are. Hand off. No fake coming out to this side. Oh, tackle. Nice. Nice open field tackle by number three. That would be Jacob Daughtering. Jacob Daughtery, he's in, he's been, his number's been called quite a bit tonight. Absolutely. Been all over the field, too. Doherty, they said. Doherty. Well, I mean, it's the way, guy. We could be right. <laughs> all righty. We got one in the backfield, which I believe is Kite. He's, he looks shorter, I think. That's how I know it. <laughs> Can't see the number. It's like number 24 in the back. And, oh, a low snap again. Throw to the right. Back to Book. Book's got it, but he's getting hit immediately Storm. for basically no gain. Maybe They may be moving at about 10 inches. It's third down. It's fourth down territory no matter what, but it's third down and about six. So, <laughs> Shut him up. <laughs> All right, we're back. Base are back looking to the right, throwing quickly, and getting Big bumped out of bounds. hit by Armand Walker. Big hit. All right, where are we at here? It's going to be fourth down and a yard, yard and a half. This is going to be interesting here. Fourth and two. If they can hold them. Fourth and one. Fourth and one, one and a half. One and a half. 
Oh, yes. offsides, first down. Oh, that's the second offside that's hurting. Unfortunately, Greenview. You, you, you have to watch the football. Yeah, you're watching a player, and if Defensive you see a player, lineman, you have to watch the football. If the quarterback flinches, you think he's moving, and you just gave them a first down, and you had the chance of stopping them and getting the ball back with a no score in the lead. This is going to come. This could come <laughs> down to whoever's got the ball last. Yeah. Low snap, ball picking off the field. Screen the Picked, book. Book's got a block. He's going in for a touchdown score. Nice block. Flag Green on pass. the play. Flag Late on the flag. play. Might be at. Holding. Holding on West Jeff. Coming back. Coming, coming back. back. No touchdown. Not sure where the hold was. Well, just about the time he cut out, I think, is when. Well, those types of things will definitely uh, hurt. Yeah. So it's first down from the 15. Got to get down to the, what, seven? Yeah. Looks about that, seven or eight yard line. Okay, we got uh, Kite in the backfield, man in motion, Booker, or Book, excuse me. Back out. And incomplete pass. Fisher kind of rushed himself there. I think he did. Saw well, he's a sophomore, you know. Yeah. Uh, he, he, at times oh. he shows very composure, and at other times he looks like a sophomore. Oh. And it, he is a sophomore, yeah. so that's not, that's not a detrimental thing. It's, that's a young man that has a very, very bright future. Oh, he's a, his kid has a great future about him. Yeah. And low snap, picks up, around the left side, nobody there, being rushed, throwing deep into the end zone, out of the end zone. He just threw that ball away. Smart. Smart play by the quarterback. If nothing's yeah. there, get rid of get it rid of and it. make sure the other team doesn't get the ball. Greenview has played good defense with a short field this evening. They have. And they're, they're keeping in this game. 35, 28, 752 to go in this game. And Rick's going to have a long walk home since it's my car he's riding in. <laughs> he keeps talking about something else. All right. Third and nine. Third and nine. Here we go. Looking deep. Throwing up man. the middle. He's wide open at the end zone. Did they score him? They got it. They got it. I never. I kept looking for the touchdown mark, but I didn't see it. And this West, West Jeff crowd has come back alive. Seven. Now what, what Greenview needs is a nice seven-minute drive and score here. Yeah. Back to kick. Up. Through. That was one of these better kicks right there. I will say, though, if they can eat some clock up and get in the field goal range, Gianoble can kick them. Oh, yeah. We've seen it all night. We've seen it. And I believe, you know, they've shown they can run and keep and run and use that clock. But they've got to keep control of the ball. Yeah. Hey, Rick, you might need to, he said he might be able to bring you home. <laughs> Interesting score update from Mechanicsburg and Cedarville. Both of the current schools that we're watching tonight, their rival schools. Cedarville is up 21 to 14 with a big, big interception here by uh, Jackson Piles, who's also the uh, the quarterback. Wow. Uh, that's kind of a shocker there. Some of you that follow OHC football, Berg has been a really, really good program the last couple years. And uh, and this, this OHC race could get kind of interesting it coming down be. late. It could be. 
This game's getting kind of interesting. 7.49 to go, we're locked up, 35. Let's see if they stay their position this time. Oh, he touched, oh, it. He touched, he touched it. it! He touched it! They got the ball back, he didn't have to touch it. It didn't go 10 yards, and he reached out and touched it. It would have been Greenview okay. ball at their own 48 yard line. Or not their own, all across the 50. He reached over and touched the ball. And West Jeff got the ball back. Greenview keeps shooting themselves in the foot. Yeah, they sure do. He's got to know where he's at. He's on the 50. That ball's got to so, go past. He did, yeah. And he went forward. The ball, the ball was not going to make it. It was not going to make it to the 50-yard line. It was not going to make it to the 50-yard line. Anybody watching the broadcast can see that. I think... At this point in time, Greenview's got to do some damage control here. They've got to manage some emotions and, and really settle in here. And I think right now what we're seeing from West Jeff is they're going to try to run clock down. Oh, absolutely. And they're going to try to run that clock down, score, yeah. and, and uh, make it interesting. It's going to be interesting if they get down to where they think they need a field goal to take the lead because their, their kicker's shown good, but he's shown kicking it low at times. Whether if he has to kick a long field goal, can he get it up to, to score? Yep. It's going to be interesting. Here's the snap. Handoff coming around. Oh, that's a hold. It's a and great play by number oh, nine, yeah. but he was definitely he out coming through the line. <laughs> Kite with the ball carrier. Kite was the ball carrier. There was a hold on that. Nothing called. You've seen the jersey going. Yeah. Eh, if you watch football, you know those holding every play. Just depends on who gets caught. What a great game this evening. Oh, man. Yeah, and we're not complaining when we say that. We're no, just saying what we see. It's a great no. game. My first experience watching West Jeff play. Uh, I've seen Greenview play a few times. I've never seen West Jeff. I've heard about them playing, but yeah. it's a good team. They're going deep. Throws it. Oh, nice tackle immediately. My number it's 52. going to be close to the first down marker. I think he may have got the first down before he got pushed back. Was that number five that made the number catch? Number 52, Blake Midland with the tackle. Number yeah. five, that would be Owen Warner on the catch. Owen Warner on the catch. He got his bell rung on that tackle. He sure did. He got hit hard. These kids are playing playing their hearts out. Oh, he got a first down on that, though. Yep. Got it made it by about a yard or about a step I'd say and be sure in the backfield with kite another run hands off kites being hit being brought back he's got almost to the 40 they're yeah, going to mark it down just shy eight, of the 40 yard eight, line eight, ball is the almost eight. touching the 40 yard line with the nose of the ball got to get to the 32 yard line so it's about eight yards Second down and eight. They've already shown they're going, they can go all four downs no matter what. What we got here? Whistle being blown. I don't know. Player got to go off the field. Must be a. Uh, Probably didn't have his. Yeah, equipment issue equipment there. Equipment issue there. Good. Referee noticed it. Players try to get by with that sometimes. Yep. They don't want to leave the field. All right, Beecher back, looking left, throwing to his left, wow. wide open. Caught. I mean, I, you see the guy going, and every, it's like, uh, go with him. <laughs> you, yep. Hey, here comes a guy in my, in my area. Oh, after he catches it, I'm going to go catch him. There's not many high school quarterbacks that are able to make that type of throw in a deep out He's like got that. an arm. For a he's sophomore, got he's got a bullet for an arm. Absolute cannon. And, and uh, accurate. Very accurate. Very yeah. accurate. 5-11 left here in the fourth quarter. West Jeff knocking on the door again. Back to the hand off up the middle, wide open, and he got hit, but he still got through. For, oh, we got a hole. We got a penalty down. I mean, should be a late hit. I don't know what it was. Personal foul, maybe. Or face mask. Looks face like face mask. I've not seen a, the officials talk, but I haven't seen anybody give him. Hold. Face mask. Face mask. 
Yeah. I saw the arm going up. I couldn't tell if it was here, here. Are you wondering First what your East Clinton Astros Facebook. are doing tonight? Yes. They are currently down 22 to 9 to Greenfield McLean. Ah, come on, East Clinton. You know, after you win a big one the week before, you know. You so you get you get that hangover a little bit. Clock is ticking. I mean, when you got to stop him, you do something like that. Yeah. It's just. At this point, rip, try to rip the ball out, make a play on the football. They're gonna, I think they're gonna stick with the run here. They're getting a pretty good push by that offensive line. Handoff going up the middle. And he just kept fighting, kept yeah. fighting. He got down about got about four, maybe five yards out of that play. I'm wondering if some fatigue is starting to set in for that uh Line. Preview, yeah, defense. It's they've been on the field a lot this second half. And the passing team has been making this off running. Which is showing West Jeff is not a one-dimensional team. We can no, run no, if we want to. We can run the football if we have to. Here we go. Low snap. Handed off. Going around the left side. Oh, oh they're going to probably come back for a hold. There is a penalty flag. Right where he came open going around the left side. A flag came in. Here comes the signal. I think it's a hold. Penalty hold against. against the a lot of holding penalties. They, they, the second they, half. they, they have been a lot, but you know, the, it, it pushes them back, but they come right back. You yes. know, it's like it doesn't stop them. Some teams that'd be a killer to them. It's makes them well, we'll, another we'll play. We'll throw another yeah. forty-yard bomb and yeah. <laughs> All right. Inside four minutes now. It's like, man, you're going to force me to have to throw another touchdown. We might get some overtime tonight. We'll see what Shut happens. Shut up. <laughs> Don't you give in to Ricks. <laughs> Sticking with that two-by-two two set. Low snap, hands off ball. again, left side. Go, tried to cut it back the middle, and he got stopped pretty quick. Gained about two to three yards Kite on that play. Keeps churning his legs. It's okay. going to be third and 12, third and 13, something like that. Yeah. He's fighting for extra yardage here now. Got number one come back into the game, Cade Miller. Number eight, uh, Jesse Harper comes out. Bishop coming over to getting the play. Now, now we're spread out here. I wouldn't be surprised if we uh, – have something drawn up for number two there. Now, if you see the quarterback coming over and arguing with the coach, that's his dad. So, okay. <laughs> so here he goes back. back Throwing deep the end zone, wide, wide open. Oh, boy, he dropped, dropped the ball. I mean, he couldn't have been wider open. Oh my goodness, he was wide open in the end zone. He great was, effort to get oh. there. Great ball by uh, Bisher. He, he just couldn't come down. I with think it. he, I think he dove just a hair too soon, and his elbows hit the ground. Knocking the ball out of his I'm going to tell arm. you what. Oyster's coming out here looking like he's going to kick the ball. Yeah, I w if this, nothing surprised. I, I wouldn't. Don't look. For, I mean, if I'm yeah. Greenview, don't, don't. I've got every. I, I'm making sure every eligible receiver's covered. And who's the holder? It's like number <laughs> five. Yeah. If you see number three there, you yeah. know it's not a. Uh, here we go. It's down. It's up. Oh, it's, it's blocked. blocked. It's blocked. It's blocked. <laughs> Wow. No flag on the play. We are knocked out. Not a – oh, Rick, you better get your stuff ready to go in the other car. What a huge, huge swing of momentum for Greenview. The defense held when their back was against the wall. Get a huge block to keep this game tied. 35 to 35 oh. with 2.59 left. Now – what can you do on offense? <laughs> what a game. I'm going to my car in three <laughs> minutes. <laughs> I don't believe in that word. It's 
So well, I saw a coach come running, and I was like, what's happening yeah. here? Okay, ball's on the 20. Missed field goal ball goes to the 20. Got to protect the football. Horny in the backfield. Can't see who's with him. I'm assuming number nine, yes. Quick hitter Quick here. pass. Armand Walker makes the yeah. catch. Throws it low. He catches the ball, but he only gains about four yards on that play. And the clock runs. Really, they're not too sad about the clock running. No. They, they, you know, they don't want to give any time for West Jeff to get the ball back, no matter what happens. They do not want West Jeff to get the ball back. Three to the south, one to the north, one in the backfield. Horny back, looking, 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 throwing down oh, the sidelines. He's, he's got a man. Oh, he's Walker. still going. He's going. Oh, he's, he's still, still up. up. Wow. Wow, he's on the 20-yard line. Technically, they're in field goal range. They can slow down here. They can now start can running the ball. Slow down. What? Hey, Ricky oh. boy. <laughs> what a throw. Greenview has a quarterback. I'll tell you this yeah, right now, do. people. Respect to their quarterback. Sideline warning. For Greenview? Yeah, Greenview. Respectfully so. I would be pretty excited, too, after yeah. a huge play like that. Yeah. Put a great ball by Horny to Armon Walker. Armon Walker makes a man miss and man. drives him all the way down. What? They're on the 20-yard line. He almost broke it. Let the All clock right. run. 20 yard line. Going to let the clock run down. Setting up their play. Two left. Two in the backfield. One north. This ball's going to Peyton. He went right up the middle. Yep. I don't look for anything different. I look for them to just run it up the gut. Until and kick a field goal. Wish I could see how many timeouts West Jeff had. I can't uh, tell. Let's say three. They got three left. Both teams have not used a timeout in the second half. Yeah, that's. It'd be interesting to see if he starts burning them here. I don't think so. I. I yeah, he might if they stop him on this play. Yeah, he got second down, third down, call one, and. But they're in field goal range right now. He, but he's going to, if they kick a ball, he wants time on that clock to come back down the field. He made a man miss, made a miss. miss. Nice he's run. got up about, oh, he's going to need about three yards for a first down, I think. Third and three. Three, maybe four. Yeah, they pushed it back a little bit. It's going to be about four. I thought he got to the 13. He's going to put it on the 14. Yeah, I think he burned one. Yep. One minute, two seconds on the clock. And Greenview is like, okay, stop the clock. Uh, gives us time to decide what we want to do here on third down. If they get a first down here, uh, it's going to come down to either a touchdown or a field goal. If they can stop them on this play, then if it's a field goal, that gives Greenview the lead with less than a minute to go and they've got to come down and score. And if it's a... Um, here, here's a good question. So Cedarville scores here, right? Yeah. West Jeff Cedarville, comes back. they're not playing. Or Cedarville, <laughs> Greenview. Sorry, I just got a text of an update. Uh, if Greenview scores, West Jeff answers, you go for two. West Jefferson? Yep, you go for two for the win. I'd say you're now, at home. Now that, you're, well... The rule of thumb is at home you go you for the tie. tie. Yes, you're right. On the road you go for two. Thank It'll be interesting to see what happens. Oh, high snap quarterback keeper going up the middle. Horny. He's still alive. I think he got a first down. He He's down sure to the five-yard line. Well, now we're down to 56. Now Greenview may be calling a timeout. They don't want the timeout to run until they, they may want a time touchdown here. Well, they got the clock stopped because of the yeah, first down. They're – well, it's running again. I, yeah. Bishop called yeah, the, the timeout here. Yep, Bishop <laughs> called the timeout. Well, and Greenview's like, okay. We're going to make you use them. <laughs> We're going to make you use them. We got three that we need. No, wait a minute. It's Chuck Greenview using a timeout. Well, maybe they use maybe one. Maybe they used one a minute ago that we thought was Bisher. That's Bisher. I might have let that clock run. <laughs> let it run down. And 
I'll bring my kicker out there, and we're going well, home with a dub. But Beecher called this one. Beecher called this timeout because they he? pointed to Beecher. Can't see. Yep, both teams are down two. So okay. they called this one. The previous timeout Must was called Greenview. by Greenview. Yep. They wanted to set up their fourth down play or third down play. They wanted to make sure they got the right play called. All right. I mean, first down and goal on the four. G well, the thing is, Noble can kick, but you know, you got snap, you got a lot of things going a on. A lot of factors there. I'd rather go for the got touchdown. Got a little bit of wind tonight. Yeah. I'd rather go for the touchdown if you can get it. Quarterback keeper going up the middle. He's going to get down to about the two. Did he fumble the ball? Right, Jeff got the ball back. No, the players aren't jumping around shouting. Well, now Jefferson is. My gosh. You're, you got it in field goal range. And you, <laughs> I hate you. Wow. Well, the only thing Greenview has going for them right now is that they got to go 98 yards to win this game. Yes, but they can, 44 throw, seconds. They, can, they can throw one pass and win this, this game. This defense has to step up again. Keep everything in front of them. Let the clock expire. Nothing pretty. Keep everything in front. I mean, look where the Going ball is. Overtime. One yard line. Or On it. go get the quarterback. He don't fumble that. I'm saying next play they're going to get a touchdown. They're going to fake it up the middle, go to the outside, go. off tackle. And he called another timeout. Yep, they got to go. Greenview did. No, Beecher did. The referee, just, the referee pointed toward Beecher. Well, they, they give got it. the ball marked on the four, but the for me, that looks like that's on the two. Right? Is that the two? It looked to me like the one. 99 yards, 98 yards, whatever. That's a long way that's to go. A, but with this arm, <laughs> I'm not counting them out. Yep. I'm not counting them out yet. We may be going home, baby. Dang, gone it. Just a little extra effort. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, Greenview, I thought we were going home with a win right there. We're down to the one-yard line. Nice where they – I don't think they could have kept now the end zone for two more plays. I, I, I'm, if, if it's me here, I'm probably handing the ball off, get out of the end zone. We're probably going to overtime. There's the handoff. He's coming out. He got to the two, three yard line, maybe two. They're not marking much past do you, the one. Do you test it. Clock's still running. They've got two timeouts. I are they will? I think they're willing to go for an uh, overtime. Who called the timeout? Greenview. Oh, okay. See, they said second. Yeah, I, and and they already had them down. I th I see. Beecher called the previous timeout, yeah. and the, the scoreboard's wrong. Because the, the referee turned and went like this to West Jeff. Yeah. And the announcer said, uh, "Greenview calls timeout." Well, we got 25.7 seconds left. Tie ball game, and you got to go 96, 97 yards. I'll put it this way. Just keep with with West Jefferson. I would do a Hail Mary on the last, you know, I would I would give it a shot. I would, you know, I mean with, you, with the arm he's got with the receivers he's got uh you know, if the guy get if the guy catches the ball out there he misses one tackle, boom, he's gone in the game over. I'm sure there's a trick up his sleeve here. Let's just see what happens here. He's going to hand it. No, hand it's it just going to hand off again. Yeah, I mean, if he fumbled that ball right there, <laughs> we've seen it all tonight. Oh, I know. I know. You in one sense you're trying to play it safe, but in another sense, if a fumble, they get the ball back on the two yard line. You're giving them the ball again. So, I hope Rick is happy. Overtime. These people have gotten their money's worth tonight. This is the. Referees, bad word we do not like to hear, and that is OT. <laughs> it's 
like saying the word Michigan. We don't say it. I'll say OT, but I will not say the other word. Now, in high school, I was just thinking of kickoff. We don't, in high school, we put the ball on. Each team gets a chance to score, right? Uh, yeah, I believe they each get the ball on the 20, 20 or 25. Um, I think each team gets a chance. And you do that until uh, one of the teams somebody scores. wins. And, uh, and this I be believe at some point, then you're forced to go for two. I think right. it might be after the second overtime. You're forced to go for two. Yeah. Again, I'm not going to try to guess on the co high school because, you know, people who know college rule try to uh, uh, put it here. It's, they don't always follow each other. Yeah. Extra football here in West Jeff. And the players are going to um, – co uh, the captains are going to meet out at midfield. They're going to decide. Beecher's out there with the uh, referees asking questions, I think. Going to meet and see, uh, okay, who gets the um, – you, you get the choice of going first or second and which end of the field I think you want to go for. I think the team that gets the choice of going for it or not, the other team gets to choose which end of the field, correct? I believe. You know, if the wind's blowing or anything, it can make a difference on. Looks pretty steady out there right now. It's a little bit. I don't, I don't see a difference on the end of the field. There's no. Well, that's OT, not the other word. <laughs> we don't say that other word, Rick. Hey, I'm still hungry. You're going to stop feeding me now on the way home. I'm saying for OT makes me hungry. <laughs> No, no, it's just it, there's no time. No time. Each get a chance. Yep. Rick, if you're going to call for overtime, you at least got to know what you're talking about. <laughs> you're the one asking for it, then you don't even know what's going on. You just want ratings. Greenview taking defense first, probably right. what I would do. Oh, I would too. You, you got a nice kicker, so if they don't get it, you know in three plays you can kick a field goal and we'll still win the game. This defense has kept them in the game all night. And if you go first, do you go for do fourth down, do you go for it, or do you kick a field goal hoping you can stop them? I think you take the points, especially in this situation here. Um, as, as unpredictable as the game has been, th you, Fumbles, onside kicks. Oh, man. I, I mean, it, at this point. Well, we've had three you know, onside kicks. All went West Jefferson. Yeah. And the last one shouldn't have. We've got a uh, couple, how many, fumbles, couple of fumbles. And then you had a fumble on the one-yard line on the way to win the game. game. God. <laughs> I mean, you couldn't draw this up for no, a movie. No, you can't script it. Let's see what we got here. I'll tell you what, we still got a big crowd here watching Absolutely. this game. Absolutely, everybody on the edge of their seats. Uh, a lot of people standing up over there on the Greenview side. Oh, but yeah. Everybody here seems pretty calm. They must have been here before. <laughs> They're confident in their in their guys. I think that's it. Yeah. Very confident. Uh, Austin Bisher going with an empty here. They're creating a mismatch by putting Book in the slot. They're forcing a the linebacker to cover him. Right. Let's see what happens. Here comes the blitz up the middle. It's picked up. Bisher looking, looking, throws deep to the left side. He's wide. Great Open play. defense. Great that great play. play. Who was by that? King Trip. Great play. Number one. Good recognition. Up church. Great play by Up Church. Tickaboo Up Church. Oh, it was Tickaboo. Yes. Okay. I thought I had it right. Well, I'm sorry. I doubt, thought, I thought doubt it was me. Trip. No. Great Man, play on the ball. He was wide open. Yeah, he he got the ball there. My he, hair, hair sooner, he, he, it would have uh, been TD. He recovered really well and was able to get a hand on the football and break that All right, Second and 10 from the 20. Low snap. Throw to the run, back out of the backfield. Hit. Oh, oh he got by. Broke free, but brought down. Oh, man, the first guy almost missed him totally. Slowed him down. Got about four yards out of that play. They're saying five. Got third and five here. Third and five. Now it's going to be interesting if they if there's no let's say no gain on this play. 
What are they going to do on fourth down? Well, the last time they tried to kick it, it got blocked. So, yeah. I, you know. And like I said, he kicks a low kick. Uh, and he's sort of late getting there. I've watched that too. You know, he, uh, the timing's not good. All right, here we go back. He's looking left, looking, throwing left. And it's caught, and I take it out of bounds at the five-yard line. It's going to be first down and goal at the five. Great catch I mean, by Cameron Pearson. He's going back. He's looking left. Mm -hmm. He's telling them, I'm going to throw to that guy, and he still <laughs> hits him. All right. I, I don't understand why a defensive back doesn't come up and say, oh, you're going to throw to this guy. I'm going to come up and defend him. <laughs> well. I'm sure there's I'm not a high. I'm yeah. not a high school football player. Okay, so. we got one-on-one -on -one matchup here on the bottom of book in uh, yeah, that's Upchurch. Who, that's who I'd be looking for right now. Oh, no, going to hand go. off, going up Kite. the middle, and he got down to about the three, and then hit a wall. Backs are against the wall now. What are you going to do? Can you stand tall one more time? Tight formation here, two by two set. All right, one in the backfield, number 24. He's getting the handoff. Go! Oh, he hit immediately. But he spun off. off. He spun off. Got he, back to the line of scrimmage. Okay. Maybe lost a half a yard. He's backing up a little bit. He back, lost about a half a yard on Looks that like play. Looks like got a player slow to get up there. All right, third number, down. Number 34 is back in the game. Is that Vance? No, that's not Vance. He's 34. Who? 34-24. 34. Oh, Owen Casey. I thought I saw him kind of hobble off earlier. He's been kind of walking gingerly. I didn't realize he got back into the game. All right. Third down. So the passing team's been running the ball here. Yeah. It's surprising. One-on-one -on -one matchup up top with Armand Walker and Mason Book. Low snap. Rolling out Turning to the, to the right. He's going to run. He's hit. No. Did he oh, make it? In. He made in. in. Man, in. I thought his knee hit about the one-yard line. I tell you, that, that, that makes it so hard to play right there. When the quarterback goes out and everybody then covers, nobody's covering the quarterback. Well, you know where Mason Book's standing at, and, you, and he's rolling that way. Everyone's looking for him. Muscle opened up a running lane, and uh, he was able to get in. Looked like he stretched the ball out there right at the end to be able to, to get in for the score. And it kicks up, up nice and good. good. Easy. All right. Got that one up. So now the question flips to Greenview here. Can, if you can score, we be you forced for another overtime? Can Greenview answer? And here's a shocking thing on that. Overtime, they ran that, they got that touchdown. Mm -hmm. with no passing. I mean, from the last, last set of downs. Yeah. Yep, they got close and they. For last four downs, they were, they were able to they get it ran, in. They ran the ball in between two runs and then a quarterback. It would have been interesting if he got tackled at the two-yard line yeah. or three, what they would have did on fourth down. All right, I Alex. would have said they would have went for it. My, yeah. goal, my thing was they would have went for it. Alex Horner comes back out with Peyton in the backfield. Those two have been a dynamic duo oh. all night long. Let's see what they can do. Peyton and Horney. Peyton in motion. I mean, Horney. Yeah, Peyton in motion. Horney keeps it going up the middle. He's got it. First down. Oh! He's going in for a oh, touchdown. Touchdown. Now what do you do? Are you going for two, or are you playing for the tie? Big Let's decision. See. I mean, they go for another overtime, don't they, if it's – or do they – If they it kick it in, looks like offense is kind of hanging out here. What's happening? Do you go for the win? Oh, Horny staying out. This staying is for the out. ball game. This is for the ball game, Rick. No more OT, baby! Because I didn't know in high school if you just had one overtime and that was it or if you played on. Timeout, Greenview. Yeah, they're going to think about it. <laughs> you better draw something up. Coach Haynes and his offensive staff over there. 
you stick with the bread and butter. Or do you reach in the bag of tricks and go steal one here on the road? Oh. Tell you what, ladies and gentlemen, Alex Horney has played a great game this evening. Yes. I yes. mean, that kid has been all heart all night long. Win or lose on the last yeah. play here, whatever's he going his, on. He should keep his head high regardless. Greenview has played an excellent game, and we can list a, hand, a bunch of players for Greenview that have played an excellent game. Absolutely. And Horney's at the top of that I'm list. I'm glad this is my first time in the booth, a oh, game like this. This, this is, is a great. Game. This has been a <laughs> heck of a game. All right. Looks like they got the ball in the left hash here. Horny's out there. This is for the game, people. It's going to get loud. So West Jeff crowd's rising up. Here and to comes me, if the you're bells. Going to run it, this is the way to do He's it. calling a timeout. Booster's calling a timeout. He wanted, <laughs> he wanted to see what set they came out in. Yep, yep. And you know what? I, he, he's I, gonna, and he's going to change he it right change, now. He could change or he could feel confident with what he's got drawn up and stay with it. A lot of times, well, and a lot of times, a coach will come out with one. Yeah. This is not what we're going to run. He may because he even knows call he's. Play. Yeah, he may know he's going to call a timeout yeah. yep. and say, "Okay, here's what we're going. Just run out there and do this." We're we're, the, we're playing chess now. Right, right. <laughs> you are so right. Yeah, because if you come out with your your number one play, and then they come out and take it, now you're running your number yeah. two play. Well, Greenview's already out. They're they're pretty confident in what they got drawn up. Yep. I would look for number two, uh, Higaby or Higaby, <laughs> Ginobili. Come on, I'm say getting that tired. Again. I'm getting tired. You got Ginobili. You got uh, Walker. You got Peyton out there. It, so, they're gonna. Some one of those guys is getting the ball for sure. We got Peyton in the backfield. Here we go. This is for the ball game here. All right. Got Who's Campbell Newman, the out back. Oh, fumble. Fumble the ball. There's the ball game. Game, that's the ball game, people. Excellent game. 42 41. West Jeff comes on top. I'm not sure I wow. ran it. I don't ran him that way instead of up the, right in the gut. It looked like they had a trouble on the exchange there. Um, yeah, there was. It was a like bump. Am I take it or not take it? Yeah. I, I, think I didn't. I, I would have thought something different there. Um, if he'd have handed off, going to, there was only two guys out there. Yeah. You had more chance of making it that way than going up the gut. I think. I'll tell you what. You hate to see a game like somebody lose a game like that. Oh, That's so tough. Uh, Greenview needs to keep their heads high. They played a phenomenal game. Their um, record is not going to show the kind no, of team they're playing. No, this team will bounce back. They'll bounce back next week, and uh, they'll continue fighting. And, and you know, you just have to – just got to kind of regroup, lick the wounds tomorrow, study the film, and uh, get back at it the following week. Well, if you, anybody sees Rick walking home tonight, <laughs> uh, you can stop by and pick him up, take him back to Destination Outlets. Yeah. He's going to need a ride. <laughs> what a football game. Uh Wow, I, I mean, just looking at, you know, all that took place tonight, I, I'm going to name a 